Hello and welcome everyone to our historical um, Baltimore by Night. Uh, we're so the historical vampire of the masquerade fifth edition chronicle. Um, granted, this one is neither is not going to be in Baltimore. It is actually taking place in South Dakota or what will become South Dakota right now. I believe it's the ter- Dakota Territories before it is the year 1880, October 1880, late October 1880. Um. And we have a um, group here. You notice that we have two guest stars. Uh, we have Jeanette and Reese. Yeah. And um, so to begin, I think we will go around and have everyone introduce their characters best they can. Um, these are semi pre made, so feel free to adjust appearances because I don't really think we gave you any. Not really, no. No, nope, no. Nope. So let's start with um, one of our guests, uh, Jeanette. <laughs> oh hi <laughs> i'm jeanette um tonight i'm going to be playing the uh Nos- nosferatu safe cracker um lee carter uh lee is in appearance wise lee is um probably about 30 years old um dressed in um you know probably jeans a button-up shirt a duster and then uh I've got kind of like um this half mask on my face to cover up um some heavy heavy scarring and things of that nature um and otherwise um i I'm mostly uh just a very like wall clinging don't really want to be noticed um don't look over here kind of fella all right so next we'll go with uh Reese. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, I am playing uh, Justice Ferguson, uh, a Bruja gunslinger. Uh, Justice is a little bit on the smaller side, I'll say. He's a little, bit, a little scrawny, like when he was turned, um, which kind of helps with like being being quick and not only quick on the draw, but just physically quicker. Uh, but because of his slightly smaller size, uh, he's, he's got that Napoleon complex and uh, kind of a temper, but should be able to, should be able to rile eye on him because I would assume he considers you guys family to an extent and uh, family comes first. So uh, he's probably, it's probably darker clothes um, and probably just a bandana that he can throw up on his face because he... Uh, does likes he likes stick ups? Those those are his favorite. So, uh, and next, small, small and weaselly. Ah, uh, weasel. All right, um, Luke. Uh, this is Alessi the Undertaker. He's a Giovanni, tall and narrow, and wears like a dark suit with a tall hat, the way you picture an Undertaker. Not a lot of surprises there. Pretty pale, for obvious reasons. And finally, Katrina. Uh, I am playing Moswin the Viper. Uh, she is an Egyptian woman of Clan Asamite, who will later become to known as the Ministry. Uh, she's got long dark hair. That's that she... um, this it's followers of Set that become the Ministry. The followers of Set. That Asamites become, become the Banu Hakim. I am a dumbass. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, long dark hair. She keeps in a braid. Uh dark pants with like a a vest over a um a very old (laughs) beat up uh button up and like a sort of bandana around her neck uh yeah she's kind of the brains behind this operation all right so you are a group uh a career of uh, a you know pack a clan a uh posse of um vampires who have uh, got together and basically go around to different places in the west and rob banks and stuff um, um don't, don't let me distract you yeah so you basically go around that you are not really camaria or anything closest would be sabat or Atarkis, which essentially Sabat is the where vampires act like it, while the Atarkis is more like 
we aren't bothered with playing the game of the elders. We just do our thing. So maybe a little anarchist, like one of those kind of things. But for the most part, you just go to towns, do some robbery and stuff or what you need to and move on before anyone gets a contract, uh, gets a hold of you. So we begin in a relatively small town called Sweetwater. It's in South Dakota. Um, it is late October. You have been staking out for the last couple of days. Yeah, <laughs> staking out. Um, vampire pun. Uh, a um, lo- uh, the local bank. Uh, you know that they've just done a um, big deposit of money from one of the larger areas. Now, this is a relatively mid-sized town, kind of small, only like a couple hundred people, but they still have like a bank and stuff. Um, and you've been staking it out a bit, and tonight's the night you are going to rob it. Uh, you do know at night there's only like one or two uh, typically uh, people at the bank, like a night guard and... Sometimes there's uh, the bank president, so to speak, or the guy in charge who has the combo for the safe, who works the wee hours to, uh, you know, get paperwork and stuff done. Because this is back when everything was handwritten and jotted down. Now these fancy computers, they can automate stuff for you. Yeah, so we begin with you outside uh, the bank. And you notice it is a very cold, cold, crisp October night colder than normal like unnaturally so or just just chilly? super just really chilly like normally it'd probably be like i don't know 40 45 or something like maybe but tonight it's like 28 25 <laughs> degrees so yeah fortunately you're a vampire so you don't feel quite as harsh as the you know meat bags downside we're vampires so we don't really have a way to stave off uh frostbite easily mm. my joints are getting stiff um can we just wrap up? Can we... <laughs> maybe some oil for those joints <laughs> you were <laughs> for like your internet connection was kind of shit now oh, while you were doing damn it, it. And like your voice got all robotic. Oh, it was glorious. Oh, okay. <laughs> it made well, it I'll better. It. I'll see it later, but I'm waiting forever. Can we just hurry up and just fuck? Just let's rob them, would you? Well, we can't rush in. If we rush in, then chances are that it's not going to go great. And I don't know about you, but I'm running low after our last score. So I want to make sure that all of the coin is there and we can get to it. Did you just say mm-hmm. McCoin? All the coin is there. When okay. I heard McCoin as well. McCoin, <laughs> McCoin is worth more than yep. regular coin. It's true. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to McBank. Uh, would you like some McCoin with your takeout? Can we so, say that, uh, sorry, that Alessi had summoned his specter servant and has it ready? Um, yeah, if you want a specter. I believe they can dominate and possess people. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, I think you already start with one. He's got the lore sheet that gives him mm. one. So you don't yeah. have to actually spend anything to get it. Yeah. All right. So, what do the entrances to this building look like? Uh, there are a couple small, narrow, uh, semi barred windows. So, like, windows like this wide and like uh, thicker cement. There is the front door. And you do know that there is also a back entrance to it. And you also think if you could climb that there is a mezzanine-like area in the bank that you could climb up to the side of the building and get through one of those windows. But it's, for most people, it's a relatively tough climb, but I don't know what all you have. Now, the windows up on the second floor, are they also very small and barred? Uh, They are standard size, but they are not ones that are um, readily openable. So there are ones that are just designed to keep light in, but not to open out. And okay, so we have to break it. I mean, I could easily get up to that balcony, get inside and open a door. Yeah, the issue is, though, then you would have to break the glass to get in, which would give away any uh, 
bit of a surprise. Um, this bank in a town? Yeah. Are there other buildings around? Okay. Yeah, it's uh, other town. Um, they're not really pressed up against each other uh, at this moment because it's still new enough. You can actually see when you came into town, you notice that there are whole areas where you see building frames and stuff as people are building houses and building up the town. So a lot of people still living in like tents and makeshift houses while they build. Yeah, and so because um, you're pretty sure this is um, becoming a town because of mining and the um, you know gold mining and the I think it's the Black Hills where Mount Rushmore and all that stuff is. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So I'm trying to remember my Deadwood series. It's been a while since I watched it. How how close is like the saloon to the bank? Uh, there's a restaurant probably about 250 yards from the bank. Okay, that's kind of a bit. Yeah, this town is fancy. They call it a restaurant, not a saloon. They're not savages. Because like my first thought would be, Lee, you scale the building, punch the window out, and as a distraction, Justice and I can have a ruckus in the tavern to disguise the sound, but it's quite far away, so... We out. know there's only two guards. Is that correct? Uh, you know there's at least one guard, and the other person who's often in the bank is essentially the bank manager. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. what about law enforcement? Like, where's it? Is there a sheriff in this town? Uh, there is a marshal uh, that has been duly elected, and they have one deputy. Uh, one of them is always in the office. But they seldom patrol unless somebody actually brings something to their attention. How far is that office from the bank? Um, from this bank, it's about uh, 900 yards. Okay. So they're not far, but they're not right around the corner. <sighs> we could have the wagon ready to go. Um... Perhaps a direct approach. We just walk in the front door. I like that. Oh. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I I also like that, but the front door is undoubtedly going to be locked, so we're going to raise kind of a fuss going in there. Well, how late does a bank stay open? Is it open after sunset? Um, it's open a couple hours after sunset, but this is you've uh, I would say you waited until after the bank is cleared out, and you know most of the yeah. town is uh, basically asleep. There's a handful mm. of like pissed drunk people walking around or stumbling, but. Beyond them, there's not much life going on at the moment. You've done this rodeo before, so you know not to try to rob a bank when there's dozens of people around. Because even though the masquerade isn't as important to all of you, it's still better than to have a bunch of people being able to identify you or pull out guns. Because one person with a gun, not too much of a problem. Half a dozen, that might hurt. Yeah. Stumbling drunks, you say? Yeah. Can we get one of them to distract one of the guards? Or the guard? And then we just have to deal with the manager. No booze, they can do anything. It's true. Perhaps a zombie. Oh, that's true. You do like to meddle with those things, don't you? They serve the purpose. Uh, I'm not denying. If we knock on the front door, they may open it. Given the proper impetus. Well, I mean... Help, help. We need help out here, we could say. And then why would we be going to the bank instead of any of the other establishments around here? It's closest. Yeah, what is else around the bank? Is it just like residential homes or nothing? Or um, On one side is kind of like a kind of a um, general good style store but it um, specializes more in um, in like not like food supplies and stuff but more like saws and hammers and nails like a hardware store but you know a little bit more variety than you find there so you also find the occasional you know like I don't know book mm -hmm. and on the other side you know it's uh, currently they are Almost completed, but it will be the uh, a second church in town. This one's going to be Methodist. 
Weird. Yeah. I didn't know they were that old. I think they are. If not, it's Lutheran. What, what the hell am I to say? I have no concept of any of that knowledge. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Would it be a reason? Uh, uh, go ahead. So if we can get them, I kind of would like, I, I understand you are kind of antsy and would like to do it tonight, but if we could get in while they're still doing business hours and I could slip away, Lee and myself can hide inside the building, make ourselves unseen, and then just take out the guard and let y'all in. I mean, honestly, you give me six days or so with that building, I could bring it down in just one shot, boom. But that might not be really useful. I don't. I don't really. Give me about two minutes. I can just kill fun. both. Yeah, it was not very fun picking the bills out from among the bricks last time. I'm kind of vetoing that one. Oh, but the destruction. It's like a building died. Was nice. Except you didn't hear the. You didn't really get to hear the like the. Help me, please help me. It's, yeah, it's, because they all not, instantly died. It's not quite the same. There was, but it was that still one cool. fellow buried under the rock. Yeah, but there it was muffled. Bit, I like it damaged damaged right my, there. My taste. A useless body. Yeah, unless he tried to make a, a zombie out of him, and he just I don't know, was he absolutely still useless. Fine to me. Could you just unlock the door with lockpicking powers, and we could just walk in? I mean, lockpicking powers activate. We could just kick the door in too. We could, we melt could the lock. but that that only works if I mean, do any of you know how to mount the lock? I can. I got some it. dynamite. I could, I could, I got corrosive blood. That, that might work. Too. The only thing I work. So we've been, we've been scoping this place out. Do we know what the inside of those doors look like? Do they have a bar on the inside? Uh, they're big, heavy oak doors with a big, heavy lock, kind of like a deadbolt style lock. Oh, a deadbolt we can definitely uh, break. That's way easier. I was assuming that they had like a piece of wood on the other side. I mean, if I can crack a safe, I think I could maybe crack a lock. Sure. Like a, a much weaker safe. Exactly. Usually locks on doors are way less complicated. Except if there's something real special behind the door. But then a lot of times you can just take the hinges off. I am going to say, though, which should maybe not be the front door, maybe the back door would be wiser. Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot less attention if somebody does happen to see us. Yeah. Um... And then when we get in, what do we know about the layout of the place? What's the, the safe look like? Moderate size, dial lock. Walk-in safe? Yeah, so it's big enough that a person would walk into it. And it's like, the, so it's is it the spinny vault. kind? or? Yeah, it's you know combination thing. Think of your standard, oh, we're robbing a bank. What's the vault safe yeah. look like? They're, it's not breaking the mold. This isn't 25th century mm -hmm. with their holographic keypads. I can't wait to live till then. <laughs> what the hell is a hologram? Yeah, I like the idea of the like going ghost. in the back door. Would it be reasonable to know if the specter could possess the bank manager and make him... Hold on one second for me. Make him, like, open the vault. Um, I don't know how like a how fine tuned their control is. I don't either. Give me a second. Let me look at your ability. Um, it just says they can possess spirit. Yeah. So the thing is with with spirits, um, the compelling just makes them do what you want. It depends on your relationship to the spirit and what it is that's tying them to you, how willing they are to help you out or not. So, like, if you force them into servitude and are doing so by force, then they would do what you tell them to. They would possess the bank manager, but they may not stop the bank manager from doing stupid shit, like pressing the button or alerting the guards or, you know, it, like, things that would make our lives more annoying, but would still technically be following the letter of your instructions. Um, if, say, it's the spirit of, like, a very very old relative then maybe they'll be a bit more accommodating and kind to you that is the case in this case 
You're muted. I know I was muted. I was saying stuff that I didn't want you to hear. Okay. That's hmm. Why? Because he was talking to his dad. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was talking to himself about the game. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. <laughs> Let's try to get in that back door. Yeah. Um, and then I would say, can we give one of your um uh mindless corpse individuals a pistol with a single shot and i feel like pistols are loud well the thing is is i feel like i I want a warning in case something happens and they realize that they're there um remember the zombies exactly speak can they if yeah if this is the one through the um first level ritual spell they dumb they get a singular task that cannot have like if and statements, they are very binary. It's like dig a hole. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's usually what I use them for. Yeah. So I, they, never, I never dig. Yeah. So at this level, you can't be like, if you see someone that's not us, shoot the gun. They won't recognize that. It. The most they can do is shoot the gun. Okay. Shoot a gun. Yeah. They're useful for hauling shit <laughs> and physical labor, basically. Okay. So maybe we'll leave them in the cart and then. Uh, mm-hmm get them once we get the bank the vault open yes um for compelling the spirit thing that is a storyteller question though we'll see what happens when we get to the bank manager part of the story okay cool so as you're moving to the back door yeah you do notice that snow has started to fall snow normally is not around here at this time of year Okay, that's strange. Uh, what? No. This is not natural. I mean, not natural. So I mean, I don't. don't. We got ghosts and stuff. I What's mean, I know we're. Made? I know in general we're not natural, but I mean, I don't know any. All the things. more reason to do this quickly and get out of town. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Lee, if you would kindly. Oh, the lock. Yeah. All right. I'm going to investigate this lock and see if I can't, uh, figure out how to pick it. So what would I have to roll in order to do that? I believe that sounds like maybe a dexterity and larceny. A dexterity and larceny, you say? All right. Let's see how this goes. So you take those two numbers, combine them. Replace one of those with a different color D10 because you still have one hunger because everybody starts with one hunger because the only way to get rid of all of your hunger is to kill and drink someone. Um, There'll be time for that later. Yeah. Uh, Now, if you have a speciality, like it says larceny, pickpocket, or lockpick or whatever, you add an extra D10. That's safe cracking. This isn't a safe, so we're going to say no to the extra. The guards think it's safe. You're rolling eight dice. Sad thing is, yeah, six uh, inclusive and above are successes. Yeah, the sad thing is, I only rolled one above a six. So, fun fact you can spend a willpower to re roll up to three dice that are not a hunger dice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so I so I start with five willpower, so I assume that drops me to four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put the one under superficial damage. Okay. Because you can heal it um, later on. All right. And uh, let's see. I will, and I roll, re roll what? Three of them. Three. Yeah, three that are not that red or different colored hunger dice. All right. Hunger dice are just, you get what you got. That's fair. Well, I got a seven and a ten and a one. So two successes. Two successes. All right. Grand total of two successes. So here, picking Out of the eight lock. dice and a reroll. I'm Good talented start. at this. Yeah. It's only up so here. You're uh, trying to pick the lock, picking the lock. It's taking you longer than normal, but after about five minutes, you hear the click click of the lock unclicking i think i think you notice while i'm trying to do it every snowflake that falls is just distracting me 
it's really just taking my attention away from what I'm doing. Would you like a parasol held above you? Oh, uh, it would have been good until. <laughs> I'm just imagining this fucking zombie with a pink parasol. <laughs> it would have been appreciated about five minutes ago, but the lock is now open. I was just trying to be extra quiet so they don't hear us. Uh, speaking of quiet, I am going to use silence of death to lessen the sound around me and creep in and look around the, the door, see if I see anybody. Does that require a rush check or anything? Uh, not the silent one yet. All right. If I do uh, not see anybody in the immediate vicinity, I will use a rouse check and uh, use unseen passage to vanish. Yeah, so walking in, you see uh, basically a, you're in a hallway that leads to another door um, uh, and a Actually, leads to two doors. One that you pretty sure leads in, and another one that basically says um, uh, WC. Okay, water closet. Does anyone have to go before we continue? <laughs> Can we even go? Yeah, we can Not do really. anything we put our minds to. It's true. I never. Yeah, the pleasures of the bathroom are no longer yours of the night. shame good <laughs> i'm gonna creep around and see if i can find uh the guard all right so did you succeed on your rouse check i did yes all right so you start going around and as you get to the door you open it and the door itself is just like a little me but you um forward yeah. Um, proceeding in, and as you go forward, you notice that it's one of those things where there's like a closed off office slash teller area where there's the desks that are all combined with the windows and some bars, and there's light coming on from beyond that. You think that's probably also where the offices and stuff are. Uh, and you also see um, basically sitting at a table with a little oil lamp, just looking at a book, a guard sitting there near the front door. Okay, I'm going to creep back to whichever one of these uh, chuckleheads are closest and whisper uh, the location of where I saw them. So you just hear out of nowhere, there's a card in the front. Kill him. We should kill him. I mean, uh, we, we should have... find the other one first and do, the same, do it at the same time. I mean, do we have to kill them? What if we just, you know, give them we a good clock them in the head? And put them in a closet. We could put them in the water closet. Strange. A strange strategy. Yeah, you know. But if you could pull it off, I'll back you up. Feed until perhaps, they're unconscious. Perhaps we make a noise and they come to investigate and we get them. Um, I'll hide behind a desk. <laughs> so, what you doing, Mastermind? Mm -hmm. So, we still we don't know where the um the like clerk is yet, do we? Mm. Uh, Unless they're currently in the bathroom, you are pretty certain they're behind the uh, teller area, which is all the desks combined, you know, like a, um, uh, with the glass okay. and everything. And basically, there's a door there that prevents where average people from getting through. Okay, so they're out of sight. Yeah, they're probably in the back. But you know, there's lights from there. So that's why well, you're pretty uh, confident they're there. Yeah, whichever one of us can perhaps knock him out silently. I would suggest that. Uh, so probably somebody that has a uh, brawl or melee or some such like that. Keep the firearms to a minimal unless we need them. I, I have, crack, crack my I knuckles. A, I have a knife. I'm not so, good with it. I mean, I, I, could, I could try. Should We should check the water closet and make sure that 
The bank manager's not in there. I mean, I'll, I'll go check it. I'll open the water closet door. You open the water closet door. I uh, don't see much. You also pretty. Uh, I do not smell anything. Yeah, you're happy that you no longer need to smell or anything, because you just open any like, mm, yeah, that's that's no. Though they Nothing. do seem to have a new sear box and uh, uh, sear uh, Sears Roebuck um, catalog in there. I closed the door. I have no interest in whatever that is. That's Sears. That's that catalog that you order. I know what that is. There. Alice doesn't know what that is. <laughs> hey, you buy everything back in the day, including houses. Money first, then houses. We should take the catalog so that once we rob the bank, we can afford to buy from it. Hmm. Sure. I'll go, I'll grab the catalog for Lee. Excellent. I mean, I can I can attempt to go up and see if I can't uh, subdue that fellow at the front. Yeah. Do it. And I will follow behind invisibly. Do uh, it. I suppose I am going to attempt to s sneak up on this fellow and uh and try to subdue him. So that should be a dex and a, I believe, stealth? I believe so. Now, before I do that, um, I have a power here. Uh, it's called a discipline called prowess under potence. Uh, when activated, I can add my potence rating to any unarmed and feats of strength. So can I do that before I go in and try to subdue him? Uh, stealth isn't a feat of strength. Well, no, this would this this is like for once I get there to attack to uh, try to knock him out. Yeah, you can rouse the blood. Now, how, what do I do for rousing again? Uh, so you roll a singular d10. If you get one through five inclusive, you get an extra hunger. If it's six or above, you don't get hungrier. Either way, your power does activate. It just do you get hungry or not. And I, st I started out with one hung hunger, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I will roll a d10 for my rouse check. Well, I get another hunger as I rolled a two. All right, so now I will roll my stealth and dexterity to try to sneak up on this fellow. Mm -hmm. so I think the Lee is a loose cannon. I'm very likely. All right, stealth plus dexterity rolling um well hmm oh no <laughs> so uh that that extra special dice there when you roll a one on that extra special dice that you roll the one that's the other color mm -hmm. the hunger dice yeah that one mm -hmm. what does that mean something if i roll a one on that dice if you fail the total roll yes well, I uh, I rolled four dice and I got one success, which was a ten, and then I got the one on the hunger dice. Hmm. So, I am definitely a loose cannon. Yeah. So you start to um <clears throat> go around when you just hear that little voice of the beast, basically like feed on him, just that impulse. And it kind of distracts you um, from your stealthing skills. And as you do that, you make a little bit of noise. And the guard basically turns and is like, what? What are you doing here? And he pulls out a gun. Um, you also t uh, become a little bit more hungry because of that. So now you gain extra hunger from that failure. All right. Hunger three. Mm -hmm. are, how close are the rest of us? Are we still like in a back room somewhere then? I have uh, followed. Yeah, you are. I guess Alessi and I are like Scooby Doo and like around the door for him or something. <laughs> yeah, you're... I was just because I have cloud memory. I was wondering if, if he turned around, if I could make him forget that he saw anything. Um, probably not because one of the things with cloud memory is you need uh, steady eye contact. Oh, yeah, you got to look at their eyes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he's going to fire his gun, but how combat normally works in this is everything is basically declared and done simultaneously. So he is shooting. What is everyone else doing? I want to try and knock the gun from his hand before he can actually pull the trigger. Why am I giving him a hunger dice? He is not a hungry person. <laughs> he could I, be. 
I am continuing with my plan to just tackle him and try and, uh, you know, grapple him up. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, I want to blink so I can, like, move in a straight line towards him. Mm -hmm. Uh, any distance under 50 meters, I can just move in there and still have enough time to, like, attack or something like that. So mm -hmm. just move in quickly and, you know, punch him in the nose. <laughs> And I will make a move towards where I think uh, the office guy is and that uh, move, start moving in that direction, not really engaging in the battle. All right, so you don't have to roll. So um, everybody will be rolling your dice simultaneously and essentially who succeeds what is the person with the most successes. So uh, Katrina, you were going to disarm how? Um, probably using Brawl just to like I don't know, like karate chop his hand, just try and get the muscles to loosen to like go with the gun. So that should be Dex and Brawl, correct? Uh, yeah. sounds correct, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeanette Lee was doing, uh, uh, going up to also basically do the same thing, right? I'm I'm physically trying to tackle and like grapple him to the ground. Okay, so, so Brawl so, and Strength? Uh, grappling, if, you, if you're grappling, that's either is Brawl or Athletics, depending on if you want to inflict damage upon him all right well because i under my brawl i have grappling as right. a uh extra yeah so typically when you do that that means you have a chance of doing actual damage I... if you just want to like you know mma wrestle him that could be athletics i think my my initial thing was i wasn't going to hurt him but when i roused the blood and then that voice in my head i think that unfortunately I might forget that a little bit. So there may be some pain inflicted here. All right. So that should be um, as a grappling uh, strength and brawl. So I get one extra for the grapple and then I get the four for the potence because I used my uh, discipline. That sounds correct. All right. Ooh, and nice. um, justice, you, uh, I think, rouse the blood to blink. And then yep. you were... Yep. Basically, also punching for the most part. So that is a dex and um, brawl. I'm going to do a, a rouse check. I would dex like to brawl. blood surge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Hungy. I failed my rouse to blink. So I get one an extra hunger. Mm -hmm. uh, and then whoa, rolled, punched him in the face. Ooh, they rode good, but having knowledge of how big some of your dice pools are going to be, I don't think that's going to matter for them. Uh, I only got two successes. Ooh. A ten and a nine, so. Uh, yeah. Three successes to disarm him. All right. I got five successes, three of which were tens. All right, so <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. so here's an interesting thing. When you get what criticals are in this game is double tens. Every two tens equals four successes, not two. Oh, okay. So, so that's five successes okay. just with those three tens there. Five, six, seven, seven successes total? And you have... I think you just chunky sauce with a man. Yeah, so you... So what happens is... With basically, four potents! He pulls out the gun to fire, and Lee just basically grabs the arm to go grapple, and as you grapple, you just hear bone shattering, because you also have the one potent's ability, which causes lethal damage and or uh, aggravated instead of regular on people. So you essentially... Um, yeah... He's 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 not happy. He's just like ah ah as um. I figure you should be screeching in pain, considering she just broke his arm. It's hard to screech in pain when you probably have collapsed lungs. Valid. Yeah, just so depending on how you grapple him. Like if you're trying to do like the MMA, like you know. Yeah, it was like a know, full, full chest tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a chest tackle, or like, like full Nelson, that... depending on what you do, depends on how damage to you is kind of thing yeah i like to think that when uh the viper goes for the gun he just kind of hands it because he can't hold it anymore yeah it just lets go because his arm is broken 
His arm isn't even broken. It's fucking shattered. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. As you see, see Justice kind of appear on nowhere next to you, he's like, ah! Mm. All right. <laughs> I want to shoot him. Um. <laughs> uh, looking over to where Alessi is, I'm going to yeah. look to Lee and Justice and be like, seems like you guys have this handled. I didn't even look at them do that. I assumed it would work out. Mm. Yeah. So, let's see. As you get to the door that leads to the employee kind of area, mm-hmm. um, it kind of opens in your hand as you see the uh, bank manager's like, ah. I stare him in the eyes and use compel or whatever it's called. <laughs> Cloud memory. I remember. Uh, so, it's a relatively recent few minutes memory. Uh, so, what are you having him forget? That he heard any noises over the last short period. I'm just imagining that when they t- when Lee tackled this guy, he's like behind a desk and be like, "You didn't see that. There's no guard in this room." <laughs> mm. so he's you didn't like, hear anything. And he's like, "Ah, uh, ah, guard, guard." Because he forgot that, but you are still standing in front of him. All right, I'm gonna try to tell my spirit to possess this person. <laughs> All right. So, what ability is that? It is on the lower sheet. Uh, the lower sheet gives him a specter. Yeah, the lower sheet gives him to you. Um, I don't know if it necessarily makes him do what you say every time you use Compel Spirit for that. Yeah, it doesn't really. I couldn't. I didn't see anything about uh, how uh, Compel exactly Spirit works. at the very is at the very bottom. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Rituals. Okay. Yeah. That's from the lower sheet. Just that mentions a wraith. I didn't know if that was the same thing. Yeah, racing um, goes for the same thing. Yeah. Basically. There's a slight difference between them, but they're similar. Ah, lower sheets, where are you? Okay, there you are. Let's see. This was Familia Giovanni, right? Yeah. Correct, yes. La Familia Giovanni. Mm-hmm. The four dot effectiveness ally. Let me summon obsession. Yeah, it's an ally, so four dot effectiveness ally. All right, so I look at what the actual race do. Oh, that's the wrong dang thing, Kevin. Okay, apparently it possesses a mortal using the equivalent to possession, the Auspex Dominate power. Oh, right. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Yeah. One of those things where there's more, multiple steps to finding out how anything works. Yep. So since oh, we okay. have not um, really no, no, that's one of one. Two fifty one. Yeah, two fifty one in the core book. All right. Um bear with us folks at home. We are also learning this as everyone does. And this is the first time we've really used the Hakata stuff. So it would be Looks like resolve specters, plus aspects versus resolve plus intelligence. Yeah, but the specter uses manipulation. Oh, I see. Plus drive. What the fuck is drive? The actual skill. There's a skill called drive. <laughs> what? He's Why like drive. He's, he's driving the body. He's driving the body. <laughs> it's driving. It has brakes and drive. Yeah, it, huh. it acts as drive. Uh, driving a car, driving a body, driving a horse, driving someone <laughs> crazy. All those is drive. Yeah, so your specter rolls seven dice to possess a person, and the target has to use resolve and intelligence to kick him out. Three successes. All right. The um, specter, like, you see it's just kind of like, well, most of you probably don't see it because it's invisible, but you just see the person as someone has said, like, ah, 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 voices, ah, ah, and you've dealt with um dead and ghost uh quite a bit um let's see so you thinking the ghost did not fully succeed in possession but did not get driven out so it's kind of like the two of them are currently battling for control of the mind oh yeah so uh one one quick question the vault does it have like a, a numbered code or how does a vault open uh, it's got a combo a combo Yep. So he could brute force it, but it'd be easier with his compliance. 
Hey, from what I'm reading about the possession, he can't, the ghost can't use like any memories or knowledge of the possessed thing. Dang. Unfortunate. Uh, while they're, while they're fighting each other, I'm going to whisper to the, the bank manager, uh, tell me the, the, what's the combination to save yourself? Like, trying ah, to convince ah. him that something weird is going on in his brain. He's just like, call the doctor, man. I forgot. Call the doctor. Ah, the ah. doctor's trapped in the vault. Ah. It's just holding it. It almost like that with your specter battling him, he just cannot really comprehend things. It's like trying to talk to someone who's like, you know, got a really bad headache and is currently mm-hmm. um, listening uh, to a lot of music at the same time. Since our group knows each other, does anyone in the group have like dominate powers? Could you get information out of him if we had him under our control in any way? No, the only dominate I have is cloud memory. We're not a very dominate heavy group. Okay, well then uh, I will just take his throat out. Oh, okay. He's okay. not going to be helpful. So I was going to try and intimidate him, but that also this works. is intimidating. I, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. So, um, are you using like claws, your teeth? Just yeah, I just use my hands. Knife. If you've seen MacGruber, you go like this. I, I think you've seen. We've all seen that movie. <laughs> so, um, and he so has I, lethal body. Right, so that would be Dex and Brawl. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'm not using a knife here. Two, two dice. <laughs> You can uh, do a rouse check to go a little higher. I got two successes. Uh, <laughs> so you re- lunge forward to grab by his throat. And as you're doing it, the uh, specter apparently is battling him and stuff. And he just kind of like doubles down and because or- the pain in his head and your hand just goes right where his head would have been. You've disobeyed me again. <laughs> to the spirit. Spirit's like, I'm trying. Just hold him still. I'm trying. Uh, Maz is gonna tell Alessi, um, uh, tell the Wraith to let him go and raise my gun at uh, the side of his head. I want to activate Daunt, and as soon as that ghost is clear, uh, basically cock the gun and say, Tell us the code, or you don't walk out of here. And I can roll an intimidate. So, let's see. You're gonna have your. Oh uh, yeah, wraith. whatever. Whatever I need to do to assist with that plan, I will do so. Yeah. The wraith just. I mean, unless one of you have like since the end scene or something else, none of you can see the wraith. They just. No, but I yeah. I probably can see the sign. Yeah, the guy's just like, oh, think, oh god. <laughs> um. Fuck it, I want uh, some help in this. So I'm going to do a rouse the blood. I do not get hungrier. So I can roll a dick load of dice because that's the best part of this game. I sadly did not get more than 110. I did get one, however. Uh, so that is... Six successes on an intimidate check to make him tell me the code. As you're holding the gun, he just drops his hands and he's like, Bless, I don't I, I do whatever. I, I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. <laughs> Fabulous. You got, then you got this handled. Seat. I'm hearing begging. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be at work today. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking Clark's reference. Get out of here. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll give you the combination. I'll, I'll open it for you if you want. Just, just don't kill me. There we go. And I'll just just. I might have wife. Towards. I might have a wife and kids someday. And she'll gesture forwards with the uh to where I know the safe is. He looks over. He's like, <laughs> you see, he's nervous. Like, I, I'm so it might take a few times. I, I'm these things can be finicky, and you got a gun to me. I'm a nervous. I'll lower the gun. And I also think I I, I use the bathroom in my pants. I can tell. Mm. So as he's doing that, um, I was going to eat that guy, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that saved you. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, you notice that you're hearing um, the wind picking up. And you know that. 
of like a storm or something and like that cold wind coming through town um and uh even the temperature inside here gets a little bit cooler um they didn't have a lot of heating going on anyway so what's uh the fellow i'm grappling and have broken doing currently uh, <laughs> screaming in agony uh, uh, he's, he's still alive in agony barely yeah hmm. it's like uh, 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 please no more I am currently at a hunger of three. Maybe I'll just take a slurp. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a. I think I'm gonna have a, a taste here. Um, are you trying to be non-lethal or just let it go? <sighs> I'm trying to be non-lethal. All right. So, are you attempting to get the maximum you can get without killing him, or just a little sip? I, yeah, just a um, sip. All right. So it just takes a little bit, um, and your hunger is reduced by one for a little sipping. Mm. And as that's happening, by the time you're done with your little sipping, um, <clears throat> oh, just double check that you don't have any prey exclusions or anything. That'd be under flaws. I am an organivore. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not going to affect right now, but if you want to get that the full okay. um, blood away, like if you want to, you don't just have to drink blood. You have to eat flesh and stuff mm. to cessate your hunger. Um, but yeah, if you don't have prey exclusion, you're good because prey exclusion means there are certain people you just can't feed from. Yeah, organivore says you can only slake hunger by eating human flesh and organs. Yeah. I have that too. I was excited to play a character with that. Yeah. Ability. So mm, I was going to eat that guy's throat like an apple, but it never came up. But maybe yet. in the future. So, yeah. So, yeah, you're going to have to uh, be a little messy soon. Um, as the guy gets the safe open, he's like, <sighs> just looking at you scared. Looking inside, you see like, you know, several, lock, a couple lock boxes and um, I, um, kind of pile of cash and some co uh, gold coins and stuff you know um, the um american eagle coins uh let's see now might be a good time to call the help yeah i'll snap and wave my fingers around and two zombies with burlap sacks will walk in i look to the vault and i as i wipe my i'm like i was supposed to open that you looked a little distracted this was faster also <clears throat> We should maybe stay if the horses are ready to go. I don't like the sound of that wind. As the two zombies mosey on in, they are uh, they got like snow uh, down on their shoulders and head. Um, you notice that from like the knee down is kind of moist on them. That, that's we'll go unusual. check outside. Uh, <laughs> right, you hmm. look at outside, there's probably a good six inches of snow on the ground currently. Imagine, is, he goes, imagine he goes over the door, opens it, whoosh, Closes it. It's a little nippy outside. Yeah. How long have we been in the bank? Like Not 10 minutes, maybe? 10, 15 I minutes. Thought. Yeah, it's a massive blizzard hitting town now. Great. Fantastic. That means they won't check the bank for a day or two. That means we're trapped in the bank. Hmm. If that's dangerous, perhaps we should bring the, the horses inside. How long do we plan on staying? I had planned on this being in and out in under 30 minutes, but it's looking quickly like that's not going to be the case. How Do we have like a, a home base that we've been saving up for or is home base Alessi's uh, cart? Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Well, our plan was to get out of here. <laughs> Indeed. Not make it home for a couple of days. Yeah, we're not going to make it far in the snow. Someone knocked a snowman. Oh, nope, never mind. That's a drunk guy. He fell asleep. Ooh, we could eat him later. He'll be dead soon. Mm -hmm. He's the one. Be like an ice cream. Uh, yeah, just to see if we can maybe bring the horse in. I don't want it to die of frostbite. I know um, 
It's quite useful. I am going to drag the fellow that I just... just just want to kill people and not uh, gotta save the fuck goes out in this, the oh. storm. Get the fucking horse. I'm dragging my fellow to the water closet, <laughs> shoving him inside, and shutting the door. Just tucking him in the corner behind the uh the good old toilet. Save him for later. Yeah. Uh, Moz right. is gonna look all around here and peek in the office and see which places would be the best to hole up away from any windows. The vault's pretty good. Yeah. And anything else just to be aware because I don't like the idea of locking myself in a giant box because then when, you know, inevitably somebody opens it, there's a good chance we won't be awake. But at the same time, you work with what we have. There's no basement, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm. And, no. and, the cold, and, and the cold's pretty bad for us, right? It's because it's hard for you to maintain body temperature. Now, frostbite and stuff doesn't have immediate effect on kindred but it's still frostbitten limbs and it takes a lot to heal through that is there a is there some kind of stove or fireplace here in the bank that we can see uh yeah there is a heating stove for the uh staff and stuff in the back is there any firewood for said stove uh there are some firewood and there's coal too there's furniture that's if true. we get extremely uh yeah so uh, Justice, as you go out to grab the horses, you notice that it's about, like I said, so inches of snow already, and it's coming down hard. Like, you've never seen snow this hard before, um, especially in October. Mm-hmm. I don't have a way to determine if it's magic weather. Nope. And you slowly do bring the horses on the inside. It's like, Renee's! Don't Wrong to me. <laughs> Did you say mayonnaise? <laughs> mayonnaise. Yeah. I have the horses. Because they're just standing in the middle of the room now. <laughs> I'll have the zombies with their full bags just go stand in the corner. If I look out, like, there, I assume there's, like, front windows to the bank. If I look out to see the main street and get a look, are other people... um? who are still awake, like maybe if I can see toward where the restaurant is, do they look like they're kind of surprised and trying to figure out what to do about this? Because I assume there were probably other people's horses tied up outside the restaurant um, or... Do you have heightened senses by chance? I don't think I do. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see through the blizzard weather. When I was outside, uh, was it? did it seem like it from... What little bit I could see, did it seem like it was affecting the whole town or just like the one building? As far as you can tell, it's the whole town's being hit by a blizzard. Oh, bummer. I guess we're here for at least one day. Well, let's make sure all the doors are locked and the windows are shuttered. Yeah. I'll go start doing that. Um, Moz is going to look to the bank uh, manager. So do you happen to have nails and wood anywhere around in the building? Oh god, you're going to bury me in a coffin. We're not going to bury you in a coffin. But, uh, is that what you want? I he's, might if you don't tell alive? me where they are. Why haven't you gotten rid of him yet? Because ah! at the second, he's useful. He opened the door very quickly. Yeah, okay, and now... I don't know. Are you going to be useful, Mr. Teller, or are you going to be unhelpful? I do what I can to survive. I might have wife and kids someday. Um, we we do we do have some a uh, few woods and nails, not not much, because none of us are carpenters. Well, then let's see it. There might be some in the uh, the wagon because if he makes coffins, mm, he might have coffin true. making supplies. Yeah. The teller produces like four planks and five nails. Well, it's good for one window at least. They would have would they have shutters, the windows, like wooden slats that cover them? Uh they do have uh the ones upstairs. Uh they you know they're not designed to open. They do have on the inside the storm shutters you can kind of close in case <laughs> you know big wind come. Yeah, it's the downside. 
Yeah, the ones on the down end don't really have anything as they have the bars um, keeping them uh, secure. Also, before we close up the back door, I whistle, and from the cart, a gray wolf comes inside the building. So I do not want him to stay in the cart during the storm. Mm -hmm. Remember, if it's cold outside, for you, it's cold for them as well. It's true. Mm -hmm. And if it's too hot to put your hand on the cement, it's too hot for their paws. And then there's our dumbass 30-pound terrier who thinks he's a husky. Yeah, he's weird. Love snow like no tomorrow. <laughs> so. So there is a second floor to this bank as well. Uh, it's it's a mezzanine type area, so it's like a half, like not a full second floor, but there is stuff on the uh, up like you you know what a mezzanine is, where it just yeah, covers. it's got like a spiral staircase up to that, where it just kind of has that level that kind of hangs out a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah. as long as there's no one else possibly hiding somewhere in the bank. And Moss is going to direct this, uh, the surviving teller to attempt to start boarding up these windows because I would like to eliminate any chance of sunlight or snow coming in as best we can. Yeah, we can like cover windows with, uh, I guess they don't have sheets. Right side, depending on how thick the snow is, it might cover the, protect the windows from the sun. Mm -hmm. All right, so after a bit, you cover up what windows you can with the supplies you can get from the carts and stuff. Um, going out, you notice the blizzard is not ending. Fabulous. Oh, no. Um, should we bring in a couple of spare drunks just in case we get hungry? We can always go out at night if we're not out too long. Mm. I mean, hopefully it it'll be one night. day but yeah that's true but we're not desperate yet yeah i would wait we do still have one for the moment well we have two the other one's just i shoved them in the water closet yeah that should hold for a couple of us for a few days <laughs> what don't worry about it your friend's taking a leak Forget about it. It's fine. I'm going to make Emily's cloud memory and make him forget it. that whole bit about talking about eating people. Like, uh, think about it a lot. Who doesn't you know. panic? You can do that too. too. I'm like, huh. Uh, but yeah, just, just all the money, just, just take, uh, I'll, I'll pretend I don't know any one thing. And, um, well, see, yeah, that's yeah. fabulous, but we can't leave, you see, because there is a pile of snow outside the door. Did you so do this blizzard? Cozy. It, it, it's October. I'm aware, but can you, you can... see outside? And no, point you have... as we're <laughs> as we're boarding up the last window. It's like no, I can't see outside. There's a blizzard. Uh, is he being a smart ass? He's not. He may think he is. It's like that's. We normally don't get snow until like late December, maybe early November at the early or mid November at the earliest. This is unusual. You haven't heard of any like Semeski in the area that do that, but like I don't know what the hell a Semeski is. This is me asking oh. the storyteller. No, the only Semeski you know is the other guy who was a potential player. <laughs> they so normally stay in the old world. Yeah, so we don't know anybody that ha might have like pulled on sorcery and even if we did know of any mages, we're in and out of town quickly enough that we probably wouldn't really notice one way or the other. Fabulous. I'm sure this is fine. I'm ready for anything. Yeah, let's get as much as we can out of the cart. And then... I knew we should have just collapsed the building. But then we'd be in a worse position. Yeah, we, we have no money and we away. wouldn't have a place to go. It's always the restaurant. There are plenty of places in this town that we could hit if we need to. Mm -hmm. Especially because with this storm, they'll probably be gathering up for safety. So, 
What do you do for the night? Where do you make your slip? Um, I would say let's board up the uh, windows and everything as best we can. Seal the doors shut. Maybe nail them shut if we can. And then sleep in the vault. Hmm. Leave the uh, zombies outside with the command to kill anyone that enters. Oh, yeah, we can do that. It's unlikely anyone will come here during a blizzard, though. It very much is, but just in case. Should we light the stove and that way they won't worry that the bank manager and the guard are in trouble if they did notice that there wasn't any smoke to keep them warm? Sure. Are they are they expected to... Does the town expect them to be here all night? I would assume like no, shift? but they also didn't expect seven feet of snow, so there's that. Well, I think the guard would spend the whole night at the bank. It's That's kind true. Of his job. Then in that case, we should definitely keep the fire at least going a little bit. Yeah. And it's not like we have to worry about carbon monoxide because that's not a thing. Hmm. At least not for us. Might be a problem for the bank teller, but that's a, sounds like a him problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who cares about that guy? He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> also, I no, actually, my character might actually know what carbon monoxide is. I do have two dots, uh, two dots in a chemistry speciality. Mm-hmm. I, I do trying to find a spot where uh, the, the the men that uh, they get some air. I do I do concern myself with them just dying mm-hmm. for no better reason. So, um, do you like tie them up? Uh, keep them just roaming free. I don't think the one that I put in the water closet needs to be tied up unless <laughs> he's unless he's really interested in moving after. That whole tackle grapple. Is there a window? Does the water closet have like a window or anything? Uh, It's got a small little venti kind of window. Probably like this big to try to allow air out. Put both the people in there and then like put a desk in front of the door. Uh, uh, Might as well also say, just so you know, uh, you can't escape here. So don't even try. And I'm going to try mental maze. I'm going to roll my charisma and obfuscate versus his wits and resolve. Mm. And I think this is actually the first time uh, I've used, a, any of us have used a power that rolls for that. Uh, at Blood Potency 2, we have a plus one discipline bonus. So we add an extra dice to that, right? If it requires a roll of the powers, yeah. Yeah. So it's obfuscate of three, two, three. Plus one for blood potency, plus charisma, which is two. And I really don't want him to go anywhere. So do I? Yeah, fuck it. I'll risk it. Yeah. I'm not going to do a blood surge. I was very tempted, but I'm not. I do need to do a rouse check, though. Mm, rouse. I am not hungrier. Good. Oh, hell yeah. His ass ain't going nowhere. Uh, that's eight successes. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. I got two tens on the hunger dice. <laughs> So we don't oh. have a lot of food. <laughs> that's called a bestial or that's called a messy critical when that happens. So often you will succeed, but there's something not so pleasant that happens also with it. Um... Yeah, so Mental Maze, basically, he cannot escape this building no matter what he tries. Every exit he tries to leave through doubles back and he gets completely lost in here. Sounds like he's just stuck in that room now. Not even the whole building. <laughs> mm-hmm. Frightening prospect. I will say you gain a stain. Mm, okay. From it. You just... The uh, beast scoring through and just doubling down on the mental maze in the guy's head. So he's kind of on the ground like, oh, the, walls, the walls keep turning in on themselves. I'll be preoccupied for a few hours, if not most of the evening. All the squares make a circle. 
All these squares <laughs> make a circle. I have an ability that the wake with evening's freshness, but it requires a rooster. The ashes of a rooster. <laughs> it requires the ashes of a rooster. I would say you have it, for your rituals. You have enough to at least use them one time before you need more ingredients. Okay, uh, then I will. I want to do that. All right. Yeah. That way, if I have to wake up during the day, I'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. All right. So you go into just the night, sun, so day sleep. And then Rouse checks to awaken the next night. Waste of a rooster. I got a six. Ooh, I, I failed. If you fail the Rouse check, you gain one hunger. That's right. I'm at, I guess I'm at two. I'm at three. <laughs> Ooh, I rolled a seven. Nice. I wake not that hungry. So you awake and the guy's still on the ground like eh, eh, all the squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. I'll just step over him and head for uh, one of the upstairs windows. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. You look Open up, up and look out. Uh, these ones cannot be normally open. You'd have to break it out. Uh, I just want to like look through the glass. Yeah. So you look through and snow is probably about a one story, and you still see snow starting to uh, still coming down. You do know that there are some paths that have been made through town, uh, and there are lights on in several buildings because this is just as the sun is setting. It's October, so it's like five, six o'clock, you know. So you do see people out like shoveling, trying to make paths between the houses and stuff. Um, you do notice that there is a path leading to the bank. But, like, you don't notice anything different within the bank itself. Uh, probably knocked on the door and no one answered, so they probably just walked away. But, um, yeah, you see um, yeah, lots of paths and stuff. People, uh, you notice that all the animals are no longer on the streets. They are, seem to be on the inside. People are on, like, the balcony of places, just, like, staring out, like, wow. So, Viper, how's it looking? Pretty horrible. Uh, they did do the kindness of shoveling a pathway for us. Oh, how generous of that. Uh, bright side, though, I am looking at some very tall valleys that would make it very easy for somebody to vanish behind a, a turn in this path and just jump in into the wiser. snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. Because I'm getting a little peaky and um, I don't know if I like the the taste of pants sweating terror that this one might still be going through. Mm, you want some fresher meat? Mm. Perhaps, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh I might. May have overdone it a little bit. I may be able to help with that. <laughs> oh, it's, they, it's better when they taste crazy. <laughs> uh, sure, I go shopping. <laughs> I'm gonna suggest we head towards anybody that would have alcohol. The restaurant. There we go. It's where the most people would be, though. It might not mm -hmm. be the safest place. Yeah, it's where a lot of people go. Like I said, uh, the different they just consider themselves a restaurant as opposed to saloon because they don't have um, all the extra gambling and uh, hoes and stuff like that. They're an honest establishment. We should go after the sheriff. Is there a particular reason? He's probably the biggest threat if we get found out. If we're discovered. Right. And he's However, probably... he is hmm. 900 yards away in seven feet of snowdrift. That's far. We can go somewhere closer. 
at least to get a bite to eat once we're feeling a bit less peakish, peckish then perhaps we can consider taking out the uh, constable if it's deep enough to snow we could just dig a tunnel that'll protect us from the day just tunnel our way out of town yeah the one downside though is once the sun rises and day seep takes most of you you just kind of doof. we are where we are yeah. who knows have to dig how a tunnel long big snow is going to last for... We'd have to dig a tunnel big enough for the cart. Yeah, I don't I don't look forward to that. That sounds horrible. You should have gotten a sleigh. Oh, could we convert the cart into a sleigh? I expect a fucking blizzard in October. Mm, mastermind. Sounds, <laughs> I don't know, right? It really is a failure of planning. Not plan ahead for that. Are we I going agree. hunting or what? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. please. Let's go. Are we smart or experienced enough to make snowshoes? <laughs> I don't think any of you have really experienced winter. Does anyone have survival? <laughs> My character's snow from fucking shoes? Egypt. <laughs> I've got survival. I mean, I have one. Shoes. I have two in survival. So do I. So you might be able to get something established rolling that in uh, intelligence. <laughs> uh, good luck, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh no! I, I can just attempt. remembered. I can attempt. Why not? Uh, I'll, I'll attempt to. Uh, I'm just imagining. So intelligence survival. Oh uh, yeah! Remember to replace your um when you are rolling, you replace the number of regular dice with hunger, with dice. Nuts, with hunger dice. Yes. So if it's so, two, two. Oh, hunger. Okay. I'm at two hunger, so I roll two dice, uh, two hunger dice, and then two regular dice for the total four. All right. But, so Kindred I'm don't rolling. weigh a lot. Maybe we won't sink in the snow. Hmm. Uh, two su- the two successes and two successes and one on a on a hunger dice. I also have two successes. One, I, I don't think it means anything, but I did get a ten on one of my two hunger dice. But two successes total. Mm-hmm. So the two of you, um, you can kind of think about how to uh, make some sort of. You know, like broader shoes and stuff are easier to walk on snow without sinking. It just don't really have a ton of material to use because you've used a lot of the excess to board up the place. But you think with the right materials, you might be able to fashion something. Yeah. If only that survivalist was here. <laughs> Meanwhile, another they town. Sure. They're gonna come any time to get, pick me and you up, right, buddy? Just the two that didn't get picked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those guys were ass hats though. <laughs> <laughs> so what are y'all doing? Heading through the snow towards the your take your do you want your fancy shoes? Yeah, I'll take some shoes. Sure. All right. Sure. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, you think uh, you um? There is the general store next door. You could probably rob for some stuff. Oh, that's got it. He said it was construction stuff in there too. We could use that to fortify. That's true. And get oh, wood definitely. for the fire. Wood for the fire too. I think I think a visit to the general store is just what we need. Love it. Yes. Well, just oh, we only we can only hope that they didn't home alone it. <laughs> What that's... reason do they have to home alone it? Nothing yet. That's why it's good we're going there first. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you go next door to the uh, hardware store, general store. You walk in, you see several people on the inside. They're all like looking at stuff. There's a clerk walks up. He's like, ah, I think I saw you guys in town the other day, but you're not, uh, you know, you said you're just coming through or whatever. I guess you got uh, hit by the blizzard on your way to the next town. Yeah, it was very unexpected. I know. We normally don't get snow until at least late November at the earliest, but it is October. Several weeks early. I mean, we didn't even get a full supply of stuff from the uh, for grain and stuff. And it's uh, if this keeps up, the trains are going to be inoperable in a couple of weeks, mm-hmm. if not sooner. We're really worried. On the positive side, People are coming in to try to buy stuff in order to, you know, shore up the home and stuff. So it's going to be a really uh, money-wise. Uh, hopefully, once it breaks, you know. But 
Yeah, we're as unexpected. So what can I do for you? I lean over to Moswin's like, the nice way or the fun way? Uh, how many people are in this building? There are five people. And it's nighttime? It's a nice way for the moment. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's nighttime. <sighs> yeah. uh, I'm going to approach the guy and say, I'm an undertaker. Has anyone died yet? Um, Would anyone I... like to die? <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually did hear that we did have a death already. Um, uh, McDonald, he uh, was got drunk and was walking home when the blizzard hit. We're not quite sure where he is, but we're pretty sure he's dead. Lena That's Winnelly, a shame. Like, oh, that's the snowman from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I stand at the window and tap the window like absentmindedly. I'm I'm actually pointing where I'm pretty <laughs> sure he fell down, but I say nothing. Well, we know where Easy Meals is if we need it. Yeah, so so we're pretty sure he's dead. He didn't, re- you know, get home to anyone. And um, well, this like just came, opened up the door and couldn't even see uh, outside. It took most of the time, most of the day to uh, show what little we can and it's still coming down some. That's mm. yeah, awful. Yeah, it is. Uh, Don't know what we're going to do. But um, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, we got supplies still. Uh, thankfully, you came when you did. I mean, we're going to have a rush once everyone actually gets into town and starts buying up. So get what you can before it's too late. Are there others coming into town? Or? Oh, there's a lot of people who live outside of town and uh, different things. So knowing the blizzard, they're going to try to, if they're braving through with like sleds or just, you know, shoveling through, they're going to try to reach down to get supplies. Like, I'm pretty sure food is going to be a premium soon, too. Yeah, we're already starting to see that. Yeah. But hopefully the blizzard will just stop in a day or two and just we'll be fine. Uh, it's just the fact that it hit a bit early, a lot of the harvest hasn't come in yet. Yeah, you don't want to be like that group from uh, the mountains in Nevada back in 47. Uh, yeah, Donner Party for 12, yeah. Yeah. Is that what they were called? I wasn't sure. Yeah, I think that's what they were called. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it matters or not. This is to this is to this storyteller. Uh, but Justice will have his, his bandana up around his face. One, because the it could, it's cold, but mm-hmm. uh, he does have a point in infamy, uh, and two points mm-hmm. in the obvious predator flaw. <laughs> so, so he's just making his way around the store, just having a look around, look, watching the people. But yeah, you know, it's that a lot of people just look at you, going like, "It's like at any other time, we'd think you'd be robbing the place, but yeah, it's kind of cold out." <laughs> now, there are no children present in the store, correct? Uh, currently, no children. All right, all right. I just want to make sure in case things go sideways. Like, Gotta watch out for the children. Also, uh, from what I hear, a lot of people are um, shoring up with each other. Like, you notice that there was a lot of people living in tents and stuff still. Mm-hmm. So I'm hearing that at least until they can get everything showed and stuff, those people, have, uh, when they were noticing it, uh, went to live with neighbors and stuff. Um, so that they have, you know, someplace steady and not a tent. Yeah, that completely understandable um i'm gonna grab some horse food there you go yeah. they have a little bit of horse food you see just a, um just a bag like he's yeah. <laughs> like oh get away you can people are gonna start buying that up from themselves soon uh-huh they must protect the horses yeah. oh the we, innocent oh so if you need uh we do have some reading material that can double up as uh kindling we got all these things like uh, Moby Dick and like some other things, Lock, uh, leather stocking tails or something. Yeah, you can pick those up. Moz actually would be very interested in any books they have just because it looks like we're going to be here for a lot longer than I had anticipated. Oh, so you might, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, so you might want to go to After the rest of it. Y'all looking a bit pale and pig- piggish. Yeah, it's been a very, very long day. Heater doesn't yeah. work very well. The cold makes the skin get lighter. Mm. Yeah. Until it becomes black because of frostbite. Mm-hmm. I had a friend up north who got frostbite. He only has two toes now. How does he walk? Not well. Kind of hobbles. On his toes. Yeah, it's kind of hobbles a little bit. Okay. It's really easy to push him over, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> friend you are. I mean, we get bored sometimes. He, pu I push him over. You know, he tells me to, you know, saw it off. I mean, it's simple. Uh, so try not to kill everybody in the building. Apparently, Maz has to let uh, Lee's Wolfie out for a pee. <laughs> uh, Wolf no promises. <laughs> Perhaps we I, should have discussed a plan before we came inside. Oh, the plan was to get supplies and then go to the restaurant. I mean, you have money. That's true. I uh, oh. Looking at his book collection, does he have... Uh, I'm looking for The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood... The Prince and the Pauper, or maybe Huckleberry Finn, or Treasure Island. Does he have if, any of those? If they were printed before 1880, he probably has a copy, yes. Yeah. I, I double-checked print dates before I asked. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got copies. It's actually a pretty decent collection, considering it's a small town, but the guy's like, you know, people like books sometimes. I figure it's a niche market, but hey, somebody's got to do it. I'm also going to pick up some, like, thick cloth and nails. Yeah. So you like you buy up the uh, the supplies you need, comes to like twenty bucks. You know, we got all that bank money. Mm hmm. I pick up if if they probably have got a crowbar and a, a good chisel. I pick up. Any rooster ashes? Oh. Surprisingly, no. You might, uh, we, yeah, no rooster ashes. Go try the restaurant. Oh yeah, I bet they got some burned meat there. Burned up chickens. Yeah. Or you could go to my house and have my wife cook. Ah. <laughs> Where do you live? Uh huh. I uh, live a couple houses down um, in the main area. Hmm. You have yeah. children? Uh, yeah, we have uh, two kids. I side eye the others and just shake my head like, man, no, that won't work. Yeah. Their name is. It's just kind of yeah. like small, like nods, like uh, it could. Yeah, they're be uh, orphans. Yeah, they're named uh, Samuel and Samantha. That way, we can always make sure we call them the right name when we're like Sam. Lovely. Yeah, that was insincere. <laughs> Do you actually say that to them? Yes. <laughs> say, oh, oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah, if you need anything, we still have some supplies. Like I said, if this blizzard lasts, I mean, it's been going for almost 48 hours now, or 24 hours now. Mm -hmm. so. It's almost all the hours. Yeah. Our plan was not to eat any of these people, right? Well. <laughs> I mean, we, we, that's, always, that's always an option. That's true. So, if it's nighttime, we could uh, wait here until most leave and then just, you know, take the last couple. It's always nighttime when you're awake. Yeah. So you just kind of sit and start just sitting around the guys, people are coming and going. He's like, so. Um, I continue did, to peruse the books. I'm just making sure I don't have any business. Right. Uh, if you just see a place to hang out, the restaurant I think is still open. Yes. They got some really good food there, from what I hear. And they got some bean soup. Sounds okay. delicious. They're just sloppy mm. beans. Uh, kind of, yeah. Even yeah. watering down the beans. I mean, I'm not in the restaurant um, what's business. What's the world come to? It's everything was okay until the Irish came. Hey, I don't agree with that. Nor do I. It's true. <laughs> everything was okay until the Protestant, uh, the Puritans came. Yep. Um, time to leave. Always leave on a high note. <laughs> I assume we, whatever, made the have something enough materials to do the shoe thing. At least for at least for Aleski. And so walking through a couple people just walking the street, like giving you stares as you're making these shoes, like, ah. We can drop off the stuff at the, the place before we go. Everyone died. How did it happen? 
Uh, I made it up. It's too cold. <laughs> Everyone froze. Mm. So I, I say I think we can we could take we bought the stuff we needed and we can put it back in the bank before we move on. Okay. As we could also, if we wanted to, wait till people are going in or out of the place and get around like a corner in the snow and then pick them off one by one. I'm kind of down for that. You know, why go to food when the food walks right by? Yeah. Yeah. Well, as, as you guys are putting the stuff into the bank itself, uh, there is a knock on the door. The front door? Yeah. I'll go check it out. <laughs> you open up, you see an old guy with like a big old beard down to his belly and stuff. You know, several layers of clothing, hat. It's like, about damn time. Been knocking half the day. I need my fucking money. Need to buy shit. Oh. There's a blizzard in town. Y'all were closed today. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. My mistake. We didn't hear you because of the muffling of the stuff. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll get Damn you to the Damn <laughs> Close the door behind him. <laughs> I put this some is... uh, lampshades on the zombies' heads. They're in the corner, <laughs> just in case. Walks Hi, in. I just smashed my knee. It's like takes Hello. off uh, his outer jacket. He's like, well, you're not going to grab my jacket. I take his jacket. As soon as he walks away, throw it on the floor, <laughs> <laughs> and then walk, go we'll go behind the counter. <laughs> just like, just like, how can I help you? I'm making a deposit of some of my money. I'm a prospector. Mm. I brought in uh, like half a pound of gold. I want that into, uh, I, you were supposed to took it into coin and cash so I can spend it on cheap booze and hookers. Mm, what a way to spend it. What else are you going to yeah. spend money on? You only live once. At least live happy. Mm, debatable, but okay. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. And he'll go, they just like duck down behind the counter and then come back up with a gun. It's like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> reverse bank robbery. <laughs> well, it is a bank, so. Is this commentary on the American banking system? <laughs> yes. 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 I don't know. Is. I can't read. <laughs> it's just like, I forgot that. The fuck is going on here? Oh, you know, this is a transaction, and uh, you might want to come around here. Like, damn nabbit! I, I lean around a corner and I say, "You know, we've gotten so used to people coming in and robbing the bank, we've just turned the the, the tables on them, and now we we do the robbing." But you already have my money. Yeah, but now we need you. Oh, God, you're going to take my dignity, too. <laughs> Should have listened to my brother and put my money under the bed. <laughs> that would have been smart. It's like, too nah, late now. So you can trust the banks. I was like, yeah. nah, man, they're run by the Jews. Does your brother live nearby? I'd love to take a look under his bed. No, he died in, back in 87. Oh. Have you, arranged for, have you arranged for his burial? <laughs> He's Wait, you said 87 because it's 19, it's 88. <laughs> and this guy's old. I think this is a trick. <laughs> He's like, no, I plan on killing him in seven years. Take his money. He's going to retire. Oh. Okay, that's enough talking. Is I'll take him. I'll take him to Moswin and like sh shove him. I'm like, here you go, another one out of the pile. Hey, he looks, sees the person on the ground. It's like, oh. You weren't the bank teller at all. Oh, 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 oh give me what? away. Shit. I sure, yeah. listened, I sure listened to my other brother and got glasses. He's like, you can't tell apart anyone. I was like, nah, they all look alike to me. I'm fine. Boy, hosted by my own petard. So how's it going to be? Uh, well, first, you're going to give me the gold that you have. Damn it, bitch. I already told you. I already gave you all my gold the other day. Oh, he yeah, just, uh, just okay. chuck, chucks it over and tosses it over. This is why women shouldn't be running things. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Let me shoot him. 
Uh, It'll spill a lot if you shoot him. That's a good enough what? excuse, right? Come on. I mean, the the wind and the snow all over the place will probably muffle it. Nobody will really hear it. Also, the snow might make it last longer. Oh, like a refrigerator. A what? <laughs> Icebox. Icebox Live. <laughs> Not for long. Not really, no. Um, I'm torn because I want to feed on this guy, but my thing, I, I prefer to feed on them when they're drunk. And I don't think he is. We could have gotten drunk. Well, from... he was trying to buy booze and whiskey and hookers. So let's see. Oh. He does smell a bit of booze. So you think he is like he's not shit faced drunk, but he has been drinking quite a bit. We could have gotten alcohol from the general store. And you could just Fabulous. Force if he smells it. like it, she's just going to go for it. I'm just going to fucking <laughs> bite him. <laughs> I'm at three yeah. hunger and I'm snowed <laughs> in. Nothing has gone yeah. to plan. It's like, ah, ah, that feels good. Oh, are you attempting to kill maximum non lethal? Uh, no, maximum non lethal, but I would be a okay if he passes out. All right, so hmm. you reduce by two, and he's on the ground breathing a little bit unconscious. Look, I saved leftovers. Well, I think Lee and I have to consume their flesh and organs, which means they cannot survive that, right? Yeah, and you are probably Giovanni. A good, probably so, a good assumption. Yeah, and also note that Giovanni, the flesh. your kiss, as they call it, the uh, biting, is excruciatingly <laughs> painful for yeah. people. So, One I try not to do that. Also may have the iron gullet ability, which will let you eat their organs after they're dead. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, I think I, I have that. So the one in the water closet you guys could feed on if you need to. What's is he, he dead? Mm, they haven't he checked wasn't on when him. I left him. Oh, he wasn't? No, I didn't kill him. I just oh. fucked him up. <laughs> how, how long can they go without eating? Has it been too long? Uh, a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can go without eating for quite a while. It's, uh, the the without water is a uh, little... You might yeah, be getting so a little dehydrated. Mechanically, he, got, he reduced him down to one health, all aggravated, essentially. He was so, literally a hair's breadth away from death. Yes. It didn't mean to. A I, single punch would have killed him. <laughs> I just snow, wanted to there's hug snow him. outside. We can just heat that up when there's water. Just, yeah. If we really need to. Just not the yellow. Let's do the yellow. I just tried to give him a hug. Uh, and then I will go check on the teller and remind see me not to get still... on these friendly side. How long does your maze last? Uh one night. All right. So he's just you see him, he's just like sleeping. He's like <sighs> Okay, well, he's asleep. That means he at least, well, I don't know. I don't really know if it lasts until after they wake up or not. I've never quite had that. You've never had to stick around that long, have you? Not really. Usually I just tell them don't leave and then I leave and they don't follow me. How long do you think we're going to be stuck? We should go south after this. I don't know. No snow in the south. I agree. I, yeah, I want no part of this anymore. So here's the thing. Do you think it's smart to stay here in this spot again tonight? Or do you think maybe we should find ourselves another place to hole up? See, I'm torn because, like, this place is really well defended. On the other hand, we have absolutely no reasoning to be here. And it's very suspicious. But then again, even if we go elsewhere... If Unless people come we hide one the time. stash, we're gonna we're gonna stand out. Well, like, until I could, we can get the card out, we can't really go many places out of town. Yeah, like I would, I don't think it would be that hard to find some kind-hearted local family to let us hole up. But the chances of it going poorly are higher because you've got a lot of people in very close quarters. It's very hard to hunt and hide it if things go poorly and you accidentally kill one of them. And then, you know, probably the most remote place we're going to have in town, considering we have a little hidey hole that's made of several inches of steel, if not feet of metal. And the bank should be a lower priority in this emergency situation for most people. 
Yeah. That's fair. So they wouldn't check it out. Well, Highly defendable. If we just stay quiet, if they knock, they'll think no one is here because they probably just assume they went home. Now we should come up with some reasonable story for why we're here. Oh, well, we got stuck in the storm and didn't have anywhere to go, so the bank manager took pity on us. And they really seem like the outside. type to take pity. We paid him for it. There we go. That works. I like that. That's easy enough to believe. I like that. And we stayed because it's nice and large and has room for our horse. Mm -hmm. And my wolf. And my Oh, axe. he's going to get hungry soon, isn't he? The wolf? Yes. Yeah. We could get wolf food from the store. I got horse food there. I just brought in wolf food. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like... He's one of the family. He can eat with He's us. He's kind, kind of a carnivore, last I checked. Who doesn't like a good organ? I'm, I'm partial to the heart. Mm -hmm. yeah, the you good. broccoli come out. <clears throat> broccoli? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Some sort of soft rock. <laughs> doesn't taste very good. No. It's over there, like, eating it now. <laughs> it's gross, so. What do you do? So you want to go to the restaurant? We well, don't need I to said, right now. But I don't know about the rest of you. We can split this one. I mean, is it strange if we don't make an appearance outside of being here? I we, mean, I guess the general hmm. store owner saw us. Yeah, I think he saw us. Yeah. Who would ask after us? Nobody's yeah. going to be looking for us. No, the less but people no. know we're here, probably the better. He did mention that someone that guy. said something about us being in town. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, we've been we've been in town every like we've been in town long enough to be scoping the place out. But I think most people, if we don't have any, we don't have any personal connections with anyone, they just probably assume we're holed up somewhere. Yeah, like everyone else. I would imagine that they assume we're holed up in one of those homes with the rest of the folks that were living in that uh, tent city. So the question is, I guess, if we, we hold up here again, stay the day tomorrow, if this storm breaks, how long before we're sure it's safe for us to, to travel south out of here? Well, hmm. we've got to wait long enough for the cart to get out, which is the other reason that I'm very much suggesting that we try to keep our appearance kind of light. Uh, best case scenario, people just forget about us because if things go poorly and we have to start picking off household by household, I don't want many people to recognize us mm -hmm. and start looking for the outsiders. I agree. Because it could be while... I appreciate the warmth. I really don't like the idea of a group of townsfolk with porks and pitchforks and torches coming during the day. Mm. Yeah. So Let's keep a low profile. Yeah. How are the rest of you doing regarding hunger? You. I'm a tight peckish, but I'm I'm fine at the moment anyway. I'm at two. I'm at two. I am also at two. I mean, yeah, two, two, Katrina. <laughs> no, I'm at one. I just ate. Mm. I mean, if uh, if the my, my uh, fellow, my friend there that I got a little Knocked overzealous with, well, you you um, know, um, if if <laughs> I haven't looked in it a little bit, but if he expires, you know, he's a sack of pate. Yeah, maybe we'll. <laughs> Maybe we'll, uh, Alessi and I will uh, have a little smorgasbord in the evening, depending on how long the fellow lasts. Well, let's go check name. on him. Then let's go check on him. <laughs> on the Walk door. to the water House, closet. Housekeeping. <laughs> Fresh Sur towels. Surprise, you're dead. <laughs> so you open the door to uh, the water closet and you just see, just like, 
the guy's body just kind of rolls out like. Uh, why did you just move? What the hell? Where did you move from? Just like why did I thought he was uh, leaning up against the door. He was kind of tucked next to the toilet, so like when the door opened, he probably just fell out. Yeah. Uh-huh. So go, he's he's go dead over and, go over squat and to like, be dead poke, now. poking with my gun. Yeah. So, All right. How much organs do we need to eat this like hunger? Uh, In case we wanted to save some for like tomorrow. Let's see. I think. Does Organ War say anything in this I one? I grab them and I throw them, throw them out over the, like the desk. It says you can slake hunger only by eating human flesh and organs, especially those rich in the blood. Uh, Presumably, a organ would do it. Yeah, yeah. It's like an apple size, like a big. That doesn't yeah. tell you how big things are. Yeah, kidney, big, kidney like, each. Like yeah, a kidney, a heart, lung. Like to keep bag. things clean, Alessi will use his uh, medical bag to dissect them and remove the organs without making too much of a mess. Row intelligence and medicine. Let's see how well you do. Uh, okay. Oh, he's dead, so it's a cadaver, so that's an extra die. It's, it's true. indeed a cadaver. Three successes. All right, you get most of it um, pretty well since you know, can't really resist as a dead man. Um, <laughs> Not wrong. I'm trying to get enough for both me, myself, and Lee. Oh think... no, Doc, we've lost him. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it happens to the best. Mm-hmm. I hold up the heart, and I'm like, "It's st- it stopped beating. It smells delicious." Well, Doc, there's your problem. Heart's on the outside of the body. <laughs> the books warned me about this. Yeah, well, don't read those. So, ones. is anyone in the main part of the bank? Uh, I would be. <laughs> All right. So I stand there. You do hear slight movement as the teller is waking up. Like, oh, oh God, it's still going on. How's it going? I, I thought it'd be a next day. Like I thought I heard. I, I thought I felt the heat of the sun and release. Well, you felt the heat of the sun, and the sun went down, and it's the next day. Oh God, I gotta make it home. I, I swear I won't tell anyone. I just I, I'll just walk outside and go to my house, um, and 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 I, I won't say a word. Mm-hmm. And wh- where where's home? Uh, uh my my home. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's over yonder. He just kind of points in a direction. There's no real street signs or um, uh, roads that are like set. So there's no like. You know, Main and Fifth Street or anything yet. Mm, will it's anybody be complete... waiting for you there? It's First Street. It's one street. Uh, do do cats and dogs count? No. Hmm. No. But in the future, I will have a wife and kids. People keep saying that. No, he just keeps me. saying that. I'm still young. I'm still young. I'm only thirty-five. That's very young. So much life ahead of him. Yeah, I was going to um, I, I was going to uh, I was currently writing a letter to get a woman from the e- uh, back east to come uh, and be my wife. It's a common practice. A lot of them want to come out west when we need wives, so we make deals and they come out and be our wives. It, it's a common thing nowadays. Mm-hmm. Don't judge me. I'm still going to judge you a bit. It's common practice. I'll talk to my associates, but you have a much better chance of it as long as you stay calm and don't run your mouth too much. Perfect. And then she's going to put her feet up on the desk and start reading whatever nonsense I was able to find in the general store while waiting for the rest of these chuckleheads to uh, get their meal. Oh, I found the, the Mary, uh, Robin Hood and Merry Men uh, the Prince and the Pauper, Huckleberry Finn, and uh, Treasure Island. So we bought Perfect. those and brought them back. Love it. Justice, would you like this guy to read a book to you? Pass the time. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. Well, I don't think we have much else to do in, during the evening. <laughs> it's very boring. Yeah. Just sit there looking at the wall. 
All right, so do you do anything else uh, at the end of the night, restaurant or any other place, or you just hunker down again? I do uh, think we should use the cloth and nails to make sure everything's sealed up be better than it was before, now that we have supplies. Yeah, we can do that. Also, if I eat the heart of the fellow that we uh, aut autopsied, how much does my hunger go down? Uh, so it's Oregon, so probably one. Okay. Yeah. Or to get the last one, you do need to kill a person. You need that that visceral death of your from your fangs. I mean, technically, this was my fault, but I'm kidding. <laughs> so, if you do nothing else that night, then day comes. Yeah. And then you day go, home. go home. I said it too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're on the same checks. page. Not um, fucking tit balls. I'm hungry again. Check. I got a five, so I think that's a fail. Yep. Success. Yep. Okay. I am at three. Success. Seven. You wake up. The teller is just sitting on things like, you killed him. Who? The, the, the bank, the, 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 the guard, his bodies. You killed him. I had to use the bathroom. Oh, um, yeah. Didn't think about that. Oh, shit. I thought about it. I didn't care. I didn't have any. Are you going to kill me and eat my organs? Potentially. Dies. No, they, they were no he, he took a fall. It was bad. There was nothing we could do. The storm had set in. It's very sad. I'm only a doctor of, of bodies, not of... Wait, I guess they're doctors of bodies, too. <laughs> True. I'm not the type of doctor that can help you. Doctor of death. Yeah, that's there a good go. word for it. Doctor of death, Steve Regal. Um, Must be wrestling. Was it Steve Regal? Am I thinking of the wrong wrestler? Shit. Anyway, if someone in the comments, if they ever watch this, will uh, notify me of that. <laughs> hmm. Um, he's like, yeah, that's... Um, if you're going to kill me, just make it quick. Can do. <laughs> I don't want to suffer. And... Oh, but that's the fun part. Not for me. <laughs> so self. I don't care about you. <laughs> Always talking about himself. She's so selfish. It's a, it's a thing. Typical bank guy. Typical yeah. humans. Oh, God. Are you those Wendigo people? Yes. yes. Oh God, those natives were right. We shouldn't have driven them off this land. Yeah. Yeah. Even I'm not no sure comment, this actually. Yeah, I'm yes. not sure if this native tribe actually has the stories of when to go or not. Not but, anymore. You got yeah. rid of them. Yeah. You yeah. And your, your money and your banks. Uh, also, someone was knocking on the door earlier, but I didn't answer because I, I was afraid you guys would kill me. Very smart. So I should have made my escape, but it's, it's a lot of snow out there. Yeah, where are you going to go? We can't find you. Really should have answered it so we could have killed you. Kind of just, it's just me saying that. Did they say who was at the door? Yeah, it was uh, one of the neighbors come and see if anyone was still in here. They thought they saw some people come in the night before. I guess they were wrong. Yeah. Mm, all's quiet. No, but who would be in a bank during a blizzard? You obviously oh. would have gone home or somewhere else to stay warm and safe. Mm -hmm. There's no oh, food here. Crazy to stay in bank. My dog and cats are probably dead. They're probably fine. Only Animals are very resilient. Nights. They're safer than you. Sure. But I haven't been able to feed them. They're hungry. Oh, is the food readily available in the home? I'm sure they can get to it without much effort. Especially when they're driven to for... But I wasn't there to go... Pss, pss, pss. As I grabbed the food and gave it to them. Oh, I over to your home and uh, I can take care of them. <laughs> yeah, we could feed your pets. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. Mm. So, uh, if if you're not going to kill me, I'm 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 getting hungry. Oh, but I don't shame. want. Uh, but I don't want to eat my friend. Uh, oh, he's not really my friend. I barely knew him. We 
didn't really talk or anything, uh, but, but, yeah, poor guy, but yeah. And then there's that other guy who is, there's another guy here that, did, did you tie him up? I think so, yeah. Don't worry about him, he sucks. Because if you didn't tie him up, he probably got up and walked away. <laughs> did, <laughs> did we, we forget him about up? him? That yeah, was on you, Mosswin. That was your. That was. That your was food. yours. I was very distracted and hungry. Okay. <laughs> Look around the room. Do we see the third fellow anywhere around? You don't see it, him. Is there like footprints of blood leading to a door or something? No, you licked a wound, so you want to bled. Oh, that's right. It's like yeah. Oh, the coward! He walked away. Was he? A, were you? Did you see him leave? I heard a sound. Sound like the back door opening and closing. I'm going to head to the back door and look for tracks. How long ago was the sound? Six-ish hours ago? Oh, uh, there's no chance there's tracks. <laughs> so, guys, I think oh. we might be compromised. I think we may want to... I work um, so I work so hard to get that one. As in, they literally fell in my lap. There we go. Um... <laughs> Uh, perhaps Time to go we could more uh, shopping. <laughs> we could escort this one to his home. Yeah. 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 Do we know where the guy who got away where he lives? He said he was a prospector. So he might he probably, not even live in town. Yeah, he's probably got a, a plot outside of town, like his uh where he stays. Hmm. Yeah, but then, either way, it's not safe here in the bank anymore. I reject a plan that I had. So what was your at, plan? To put some of the cash in his house. It looks like he robbed the bank, but that's not mm. important. Like, okay, we don't wait, care what anyone thinks about that. Right, I, I'll, I'll lead you to my house if that's what you want. Yeah, we can feed your pets. Please don't hurt them. They're the only thing I have. I'm very fond of animals. Don't worry. We won't hurt them. Yeah. How, do you hurt how do you like your neighbors? Well, the one neighbor is pretty nice. That they're friendly. They come over every now and then to make sure I'm fed and well. The 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 wife there, she she's real kind. The other neighbor's a dick. Yeah, you'll if have you to find been out home his for house. a couple of days. Wouldn't they have checked on your animals? Yeah, they're that I don't. Nice. I wasn't there to ask them, so I don't know if they would think about going to ask. But if I asked them, they probably would take care of them. But they, mm -hmm. I, I didn't ask, so I don't know. The other neighbor wouldn't. He's a dick. I asked to borrow a scythe the, uh, the one day to help uh, cut my grass. And he said he didn't have one. And then a couple hours later, I looked at my window. And he was cutting his own grass with a scythe. The fucker had one. Sounds like he needed it more than you. I offered to pay him five bucks. Wow, what an well, ass. Way that's too a, much for a scythe. That's yeah, like a house. You could buy a house. Not quite, but yeah. I mean... I do have a bad sense of what money is like in 1880, so yeah. <laughs> so do all of our characters. Yeah, that's a problem I have my undead, uh, the uh, Evil Deadlands game, because it's like five bucks, nickel, ten cents. $1, it's also really weird, too, for us, because we're probably still getting used to um, candy stripe money systems here, because most of us are from the old world. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to go, we should go now. Well, the going is good. Can Agreed. your house hold uh, two horses, or well, how many horses do I have? One, one for the cart, just a one-horse cart. <laughs> Probably just the uh, one. Um, y yeah, it can hold them. Does your dog? I mean, does your horse like dogs? I don't know. It's not it my tolerates business. a wolf. They're That's true. Just He'll be a fine. Dog. I mean, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I got a, I got a terrier. It hunts mice. Sounds like you could have mice if you didn't have a terrier. Yeah, mice have been a problem. I mean, we live near fears. But let's let's get going if you want to, and just just don't hurt me. By the way, I feel like at this point it's probably polite of us to say, "What is your name?" Oh, oh. if you give him a name, you'll never want to eat him. Well, I didn't intend to eat him. <laughs> I mean, snack me. Uh, but... He doesn't need all of his organs. Answer answer the question. Um, uh, Billiam? <laughs> He's dead. Kill him. Nope. <laughs> no, no, sorry. 
Have to <laughs> die now. It's Flaming just, hand of fiery doom. It's just Bill, Billiam and Soup. Those are the those are the two instant <laughs> death names. Sorry. You can just call me Bill. Sorry, you already said your full name. <laughs> your name is Bill and you work at a bank. Isn't that a little weird? There's there's destiny. Weird. Yeah, my name is Billiam Cash. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I, I just felt destined to work in the banking system. Also, just, just for money purposes, a shovel in this time would cost about 50 cents. Now, if it helps you, my middle name's Robert. Oh, God. No, it doesn't. Billy and Bob. Robert. Billy Bob? Shall we go? Bill I'm gonna Ro- get... Yeah, Bill Rob Bank. <laughs> <sighs> I thought it was cash. It was cash. Yes. I can't trust anything you say anymore. No. Uh, I'm going to shoot him when we get home. Perhaps. I... I, can, I can check his brain to see if there's any problems with it. I'm just you nervous. You have to check? <laughs> so you head on out or? Stay? Yeah, Maz is going to make sure that I pick up whatever supplies that we got. And take do, we want, do we want somebody to stay behind just in case? In case of what? We're anyone else shows up us. or anyone else tries to leave? Well, everybody's gone. The fellow in the bathroom is not going to leave. I am going to take one of the, the you know, money bags from the bank itself, and I'm going to carefully, uh, using some of the linens and things that we got, I'm going to wrap our snacks that we got from the fellow in the bathroom, and I'm going okay. to bag them up in the money bag, and then I'm not going to really clean up where we left, except to maybe take whatever's left that we don't need, and open the back door, look left, look right, and then sort of bury it in a snowbank. Eat it in the snow. Mm-hmm. Yep, just kind of eat it and cover it up. Oh, I want to turn to... Billiam is the bank manager, right? Wait, you're, what, are you, what are you hiding? The uh... body. I'm hiding the guard's body. Oh, okay. What's left that we didn't bag up to take with us. I want to ask Billiam if anyone else knows what the bank uh, vault combination is. Yes. Should I answer no? People in town? No. We can hide stuff in the vault and just close it, and then it'll be safe in there. And nobody will find it until someone else comes to town with the vault combination. Do we trust our friend here? Yes. No. And hey, also... You can trust me because I am motivated to stay alive. I would like to... Um, and that's the best motiva- motivation of all. That's a point. That's a good point. It's a point, At but I wouldn't point, like to steal back the money we've already stolen. Yeah, I think we should take them whatever money we have with us. Oh, yeah. The zombies still have that dozen bags, or at least two bags of it worth. Yeah. yeah. If you gave me a gun, I would shoot just about anyone. If it meant make, staying alive. You could make this guy familiar. Honestly, that, an ally might be helpful. He mm-hmm. knows the town. He knows the people. Could we blood bond him somehow? He knows what we are. Yeah, you can ghoul him relatively easily. So, there is a potential business opportunity here for you. We find ourselves in need of a useful person. And so far, you've been very accommodating. Uh, there is a little custom that we do. There's a, I'm sure you've heard of how some farmers spit in their hands and shake on it. Uh, for us, it's more of a different kind of sharing. Sharing of blood. Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, I was thinking other things. Uh, so I give you my blood. And you, right? Okay. Do, do I do I cut myself? Do do you like? Is there a special knife? Uh, I will. Um. He's like honestly, he he just grabs. He's like, I, I I'm I'm gonna reach for the letter opener because it's a little sharp. I'm not attacking. Okay. Just pokes his finger here. 
This is unhelpful in the least. You said we share blood. An actual knife and cut like further up, not like slit his wrist, not enough that he's going to bleed out, but like enough that she can actually get something out of it and take a dot of hunger from his wrist. (sighs) And then use the same knife and cut her own um, arm and offer it to him. He drinks some, he's like, oh, good thing we don't know about blood transmuted diseases other than syphilis right now. Mm, good thing that that's not really an issue for me. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm clean too, you can tell. Would it be for him? Some vampires can transmit diseases if they fleshly fled from the diseased person. That's a bummer. Yeah. It's a flaw back in V20 that, mm. you know, we can just modify for V5 if we really need to. Yeah, so she's one step of the way toward blood binding this guy, or, uh, uh, ghouling this gentleman. So he, it's three feedings over three nights, right? Uh, that's for vampires at least, but yeah. I'm not sure if it's the same for humans. I can never yeah, remember. Think... They, It's like slightly different sometimes, so yeah. yeah. Anyway, so you guys go to his house or um, take you? I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, when we leave, I'm gonna have the zombies with the bags of loot hide the loot in the bottom of the, the wagon that we have stored nearby. Mm-hmm. With like, I'll fill my pockets first, just in case we need more cash. But and we're taking like a, the wagon with us, though, right? Can we get the wagon across town in the snow? Can we get it? Um, the it will probably take you almost the entire night to do it, but you can attempt it. It might be a good idea to do that because if they come checking out the bank after that guy got away and see the wagon yeah. there, yeah, yeah. And is it still snowing currently? Uh, this is your third day. Yeah. yeah. Third, you see the snow starting to ease off. If we move it tonight, there's a chance that the tr- any trace of us moving it will just get covered up by the what's left of the snow. Perfect. Mm-hmm, Love mm-hmm. that. All right. The loot will be stowed. The zombies will help clear the clear the path for the wagon while the horse pulls it. Yeah. Yeah, and then we follow this dude to his house. You get there. Um, sun is only like an hour away before ri- the sunrise. He opens the door. You see a dog just come up and it's like, dog, dog, dog. And he's like, ah, I missed the dog. And you see a cat just like, meow. meow. I, uh, I look to uh, to my wolf companion and I just say, let's not eat them if you don't have to. If you don't have to. <laughs> you got feral whispers also? I do have feral whispers, oh. and okay. it's free to use on my famulus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you want a spleen? We have a spleen left from the other fellow. Mm, do you got any bones? Well, yeah, I like bones. marrow. Sure. Lots of bones. Yeah, yeah, I like the marrow. I I dig inside the the bank money bag and pull out some some bones and. Just kind of toss it off for the dog, for the wolf. The wolf, the dog, and the cat all go over and start munching on it. Look, they're friends. One big yeah. happy family. <laughs> the guy's just like, if we throw Billiam in the middle of the floor, we could do that too. Hmm. Just put throwing that out there. It's like, I don't think uh, we're quite there yet. So, so, so this is my place. Uh, dying around here. There's a pantry. There's two rooms upstairs. And there's the front room. The bathroom's there. Get the fire started. It's a bit cold. Yes, it's quite cold. Yeah. Starts getting wood, getting the fire started. Thank you. I'd give you a hug, my friend, but I'm told my embrace is a bit rough. Yeah, that's something like that. Yeah. I'm going to keep an eye out to the neighbors. How far away are the neighbors' houses? Uh, both of them are about uh, 300 yards from his house. Oh, okay. So they're probably not going to see us walking in the windows. There is. And the snow is still about a, like one story tall in most areas. They've created a lot of pathways and stuff, which isn't like full. You see the ground, you're still on like several inches of compact and snow walking all across it, but they have um, 
the town has done pretty well making very narrow paths throughout things. I guess well, when you we, yeah. work together as a community, you can get things done real well. Commentary. Um, there yeah. is a good chance that I think just Fida can Vite once actually mm -hmm. does it. Yeah, for the human part. Uh, he's like, yeah, so you guys can have the bedrooms. I'll just stay here in front of the fire. Good. I'm going to go sleep uh, in the tub. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we should probably get to boarding up any windows or anything. And, or find if he has like a basement or someplace that's good to hide because the sun is coming soon. Yeah, sorry, we don't have basements in this area. And whatever room has the fewest windows. Bathroom. Oh, well, it's for a cozy evening, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We still have some uh, supplies uh, to cover windows yeah. with cloth. So, you sleep for the day, and Roe Rouse checks as you awaken the next night. Checks. Hey! Seven. Success! Ten. I got a five. Oh, I'm a little hungry oh. when I wake up in the morning. So I am still at three, but I haven't increased any. Just see the guy sitting there. It's like, uh, hi, I tried to wake you earlier, but no one was waking up. Why? Our neighbors came by and uh, I talked to him and stuff. A uh, bunch of us, uh, the snow seems to have stopped and a bunch of us are going to make to the next town to see what kind of supplies they have and how well they're doing. Versus uh, what we're doing. They were going to leave. And I think you guys said you wanted to also leave. So if they're blazing the trail kind of thing through the snow, you could try to go up behind them. They're going to a place called D. Smith. That's actually a fabulous idea. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah, that is a good idea. D. Smith's a bigger town. Maybe they had a much better blizzard. Your town, there might be a bigger bank. It's true. Mm. Easier to blend in. And spend any money we might happen to have yeah. come into. Mm -hmm. They actually would probably already be on the trail going. Guess they were going to leave earlier today, but it's nighttime now. So if we wait a couple hours, it'll be several hours behind them. They won't notice. I think it's a good idea. That works for me. I like that, yeah. Yes, let's go back to the bank and load up what we got. Well, no, we Whatever, brought everything with us, didn't we? Everything? Did we take the chair? The chair. Yeah. So that way no one can sit down behind the... We don't need a chair. Sometimes I don't understand but how your jokes, are we supposed but to I'm say happy. fuck you to everyone <laughs> when we leave? We took their money. We I mean, that's a pretty big... Well, that's an irritant. But a real annoyance. Really, that cherry on top, we like steal their chairs what if we sabotage the chairs so when they sit down on the chairs they break but i'm not there to enjoy that no that's, that's a good point fine whatever i think we can do we can leave them with their chairs this one time i kill people I'm not taking i know this has not been as fun for you i'm sorry justice mm, your finger is itchy I, I mean, I guess we should have just let you shoot the guard. We didn't know. Hey, it's whatever. How's right, this? If there is someone we have to shoot, it's all yours. We could take the dick neighbor with us as a snack on the way. Oh, you can go. You can go invite him along, Justice. Or uh, we, we won't. We won't same. get involved. It's and it's not the same. You're giving it to me. It's a pity thing. I'm not know what. He might have surprised. really nice chairs you could take too. That's it's not said, about the chairs. It's about you don't have message. to be too proud. That said, we should perhaps see before just, we just go, go out. out. It's too late. Let's just go. blazing trail. We don't know where our next meal is coming from. We still have some. Well, some of us still have some organs. It's fair. Okay. That doesn't really help you guys. Mm. Uh, so yeah, let's pack up. Yep. 
Uh, Billiam, I hope your cat and dog don't mind the wagon, or you may want to drop them with a neighbor. I'll go take them to the neighbors. Do you trust me to do that? I trust you not to do anything stupid that get, would get put you or your pets in danger. You're half right there. He picks up the dog and cat. Gets their stuff, like they'll chew toys and stuff in a bag. Hmm. Hmm. The cat's name was Felix. Was it the first cat ever named Felix? Kind of. It's a scientific name for cats. Felix uh, Domesticus or something like that. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. <laughs> I only know the comic strip. Yeah. Yeah. My dog's name is Brian. <laughs> he comes back up at like half an hour later. <laughs> They're safe. Oh, sorry, it's just really hard trekking through snow. Yeah. Yeah, normally it only takes me like a few minutes to get there. It took me like half an hour to get there and back. Then, uh, like, I met the wife and she started making small talk, and I was like, I gotta go. I got some things to do. And the goodbye took like 15 minutes. I'm uninterested in this conversation. Yeah. Can we go? I'm freezing my ass off in this car. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so you head on out. <clears throat> There's a secret compartment at the bottom of the wagon that the zombies spend their time in when we're traveling. So they can be hiding in there with just the... fold them up and put them in there like luggage. Yeah, <laughs> like at the bottom of a bus. Like mm-hmm. bus have those have those doors that open. <laughs> Love it. As you go, um, after, yeah, you know that you're going to have to day sleep in the cart, so. Not for the first time. Yeah. yeah. That's a common thing you guys do. Now, though, you do have someone who's ghouled who could watch it during the day easier. Uh, now might be the best night for your the use of your uh, ritual. Oh, I need, I need a rooster ash. I thought you had had enough for one night, or did you use it that first night? I used it the first night because I didn't mm. know when if I needed. That was that seemed to be the most risky night we had. Well, when we get to the next town, we'll have to keep an eye out for some chicken hen, uh, chicken coops. Uh, uh-huh. Do we, we go past the restaurant at any point, trying to get to this guy's house? You can stop by the restaurant before you leave town. Might as well. Oh yeah, see if they have any uh, roosters in there. Yeah, you go there. There are several people just eating got the person behind uh, the bar kind of things like hello strangers still in town i see i know i never do this before but i would want to use the rouse the blood or flesh of life or whatever it's called all right i'm gonna go inside yes yeah blush of life allows you to essentially appear human i just got a rouse check so i succeeded i am slightly hungrier i didn't do this in the other games though apparently it's important to do that Mm mm-hmm it's pretty so damn the, helpful. Are the other two going to try? I think I stayed with the cart, so I don't Just, go in. Justice has a bandana up, so like it's only seeing this much, so it's not a big deal for him. I don't care. So it's walking. cold out. Ooh. And person's just like, yeah, so what can I do for you? A lot of people coming in our food stores. As long as this, I think the blizzard's over, which is good. We can start recovering, but who our harvest is not going to be the great this year, unfortunately hit right before harvest season or harvest time it's really bad like middle mm, yeah do you have the the unedible remains of any roosters that you may have cooked for an animal i'm gonna feed an animal ah yeah be uh 25 cent all right i'll get as much as i can all right just goes back to come out it's like do you, you any animal would do uh rooster Chicken good? Sure, it's basically the same thing. I, 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 I mean, when they're dead, it's kind of hard for me to tell the difference between the rooster and the hens. That's a good point. Then do all of it at once. I'm just going to get a whole pile, but if you're really picky, you know. I'm not picky. And he comes back and says, like, okay, so I have some feet, though some people do use this for, like, things. It's just a wobbly one. I got, uh, I think they're called the cock comb thing. You know, that. 
I don't know. That that would definitely be part of it. Mm -hmm. Whatever the ritual takes, my character would know what that is. Mm -hmm. It just says ashes of a rooster, so I don't think it has to be any specific part. Yeah, here's some bones. Here's a... yeah, so there you go. I assume it just has to be the male one because those are the ones that wake with dawn. That makes sense. <laughs> I get it now. I, I'm understanding how spells work in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like anything human edible? Though, like I said, some humans do eat these parts Actually, too. Actually, yeah. yeah. We should. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because of that guy. Oh. He's like, yes, please. I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> I've only had a crust of bread and, a st and moldy cheese. We should buy him some more crusty bread and cheese. Can I have like regular bread and regular cheese? Uh, why not? Um, Moz will uh attempt to lay on the charm and see if I can get a discount to buy as much food that I think will hold. Um, and uh, is there anything that we need to know? Really. We should probably buy him some alcohol. Mm, oh, nice. that'll yes. keep him warm. Mm -hmm. That'll keep him warm. Good bottle of whiskey is probably about two dollars. Are you yep. looking at a price list? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's most useful. So you spend like six dollars and get plenty of food and drink to last a bit. Yeah. That's like, ooh, you guys are hungry tonight. Yeah, we're uh, looking at a bit of a journey. Ten, pound, ten, 10 pounds of bacon is 60 cents. Let's just put that out there. Well, that's a lot bacon. of bacon. This is prepared cooked food, so there's a slight difference. But yeah. I know, but still. Yeah. I could go for 10 pounds of bacon. <laughs> Sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're eating. Serve you stuff. Person's like, oh, you want to hear about the soup menu? No. No, thanks. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Kevin tried. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, get our goods and head out. And you head on out. Yeah. Uh, the first night out, relatively uneventful. Same with the day. The second night, though, as you're going, as you are awakening and um, getting mm, later, um, getting ready and stuff, you do see a group of men approach you about three individuals and they have guns and stuff but they're really covered up like and this is at nighttime yeah it's like the sun is just set and the uh and the you know night is coming the moon's rising some so you're just waking up so you're not like yeah we're good to go it's just you know doing your nightly awakening routines William you may want to uh Step out of sight. He just dives into the snowbank. I'll I'll walk out front because it's my cart. All right. Hey, strangers. Uh, Moss is going to slip into the back of the cart and then use um, unseen passage to go invisible. All right. All right. Uh, no, I know. Just it... Justice will be like hiding behind like the the shade or the curtain or whatever, just so he can. Uh, and if. If you would let me, I can uh, roll a, uh, do it aim. I think it's a nearing aim, so I can rouse check. And then before Ooh. I'm making any range attacks, I can uh, yep. basically make no roll to, the target makes no roll to dodge or defend. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you're just going to shoot them because they're coming up to you with guns like, hey, strangers. Getting, uh, I'll probably think about it. I'll stand. I'm getting ready to. So I'm getting to ready to. We'll, we'll see what they say. So I assume like that'd be next turn. I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll greet them and say, "What can we do for you?" Now you, this, you know, the blizzard. Uh, I know it's only been three days, but it's going to take a while for us to shovel things out in the county and stuff. It'd be useful if people, you know, paid us for the extra usage of, you know, the shoveling and stuff. So. Uh, uh, Cut it to short. We want your food and money. And sure. I shoot them. Come on inside All the right. wagon. <laughs> Three, so I'm at hunger for. I'm at hunger for. Oh right. boy! So, no, Jesus. Go, go I, bananas, I, Justice. I, All right. So roll composure and firearms. 
All right. Uh, I'm at four. So all of these. And then... Oh, do you know there is a rule that if you want to, uh, it's something we don't do so often. You can choose to do more than one action, but you split the pool some. So if you want to shoot, let's say, two people, you'd be like, three dice hit this guy. I'm rolling four dice to hit this guy. Okay. So, like, how many dice are you rolling, do you think? Uh, for, uh, I have four for composure, and then I'm doing firearms, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's four, and if it's a quick draw, which I don't think mm-hmm. this, if this really counts or not. But I say it's quick draw. Well, you were uh, aiming, that's a right? total of five. Mm-hmm. So, so nine total. dice total. Nine dice total. That's so seven, eight, nine. So you could do uh, four against one person, five against the other, or like three, 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 or something like or three, three, two. Because the difficulty is only one. Yeah. So, I mean, does that does that make a difference with the unearing aim? You, before uh, making a range attack at difficulty one, target it, makes no roll or to die. Yeah, it, it shouldn't really change it uh, unless it says otherwise. Uh, the only thing is the less dice you roll against someone, the less damage you end up doing. Yeah. So uh, it's like guaranteed death versus wound, wound, or something like that, potentially. Uh, I'll, I'll split it at least two ways. Uh, so I'll do, and they have to be a hunger dice in each. Well, there's four, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll do four to four to five. So I'll All do right. the, the four first. Uh, uh, one success, and it doesn't matter if it's a 10 on the hunger die. Um, it does if you get a critical. Okay. No, because this is one, two, one, four, five, and ten. So, one success on that shot. And let's see, eight and a six on that one. So that would, yeah, two successes on the second shot. All right. So as uh... So it's, uh, unless he was like, come on back. Do you just hear two shots ring out and they're both like, ah, ah, as they go to, you know, both have wounds, like not, they're not dead, but they're both like, ah, what the fuck? Where's unless his hands are up in the air, like he's surrendering. <laughs> Anyone else doing anything? Uh, yeah. So considering this is how it's going, uh, Maz is invisible and would like to use that. Um, there were three guys, right? Yes. Uh, I'm invisible. I would like to sneak up behind the la- the one that has not seen me and shoot him as well. All right. Um, we just take them out. Yeah. Uh, so I would probably do Dex and Obstucate first to see if he does not notice me. And then if he doesn't notice me, then can I get that extra little something something? Mm-hmm. Do we remember what it does when you sneak? Isn't that like it reduces the difficulty down to one? Yes. All right. So that's a yeah. harder way of doing an earlier game. Yep. I got an eight of ten and two ones. <laughs> All right. I'll say that you did sneak up because they are preoccupied with getting shot. Oh, good. Uh, what is uh, Lee Carter doing? Well, um, I was standing against the side of the wagon, but now that everyone is shooting at people and <laughs> doing these things, I guess, um, <laughs> why am I having flashbacks to the last v 5 game we had with you, Jeanette? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that I'm going to, um, eyeball one of the two that's been shot. Mm-hmm. Look at that, that waste of that good, good blood that's going down. Realize that. We made justice wait so long to actually get to, you know, really let loose. I'm going to jump on one of them and uh, attempt to to tackle and, and uh, bite him with my teeth. All right. So bite will be, I believe, dex and brawl, but at a two dice penalty. So you subtract two dice. Okay. It's just harder to successfully get a good bite on someone. Um, excellent. And... Can I use a brutal feed, which is the one that lets me drain them within a single turn? Uh, if you connect. Yep. Okay. So let's see if I connect. So uh, brawl and what? Uh, dex. Uh, what did I say? Dex or strength? I can't remember. 
You said Dex. Dex, okay. But I don't and know then, if that's right or not. Yeah, that should be correct. And then minus two dice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like. Uh, while she's doing that, I'm gonna. I did a rouse check to shoot this guy even better. Mm -hmm. So. I think unless he's gonna crouch down and then roll under the cart. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things happening. Oh, there are a lot of things happening. I forgot I could blood surge. Whatever. So let's see, that's four, seven. Um, I got one, two, three, four successes. Wow. All right. So you bite down and start the feed and it's like... <sighs> oh, I think, does Lee have the... Uh, that Crazy damaging feet, or is that a Giovanni thing? Uh, I have lethal body, so my unarmed attacks now deal aggravated health damage to mortals, and I'm using brutal feed, so um, I'm gonna drain him within one turn. <laughs> Normally, it takes like one turn per um, hunger sated. Yeah, it's like a whole scene to just totally drain someone. Um, so uh, and uh, Moswin, uh, four successes to shoot him in uh, the back. Against the difficulty one, so. Yeah, uh, and what is your gun's base damage? That's a good question. Uh, I was picturing she has a pistol, so. What kind? It varies. <laughs> I'm sorry, they don't have stats for Wild West guns in here. Would it be more like a 22, a 45? I'll go with a medium one. All right, so plus three. All right. There we Ooh, go. Wait. Not a Dillinger or a Derringer. Which of those is it? Yeah, it's not the little pea shooter one. Yeah, that's a Derringer. So Derringer. um so I should have looked up the damage on the guns earlier. I was miscalculating them. So one of the guys died when you got shot by Justice. Um <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy um, just got drained by <laughs> Lee, and um, you said you did how many dice? Uh, uh, four successes, and it was against difficulty right. one. So, yeah, so all three are dead. Oh, that was nice. Wish and, they would have begged for mercy, but... And then I'm going to feed on the one that's dying. Or dead. Me too. I'm going to drain that guy. <laughs> Yeah, there's no, yeah, like, we can get to zero hunger, because, like, I guess, like, you can, like, I'm gonna at least, it's not yeah, what get killed to him, one. but I'll let it one happen. if I can, yeah, yeah right. I'll allow it, yeah, four, oh, and, um, God is zero. our, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the third one is, uh, Lee gonna, like, feed and devour, or, I mean, whatever gets me to zero hunger, Look at these people. They're all feeding and stuff. And unless he's just hiding underneath it, oh. just like I'll go see if there's any scraps. <laughs> I just I'm need the. I, I'm like oh. the organs. I don't need the. Oh as no, much. Lee! You killed them. <laughs> uh, and then Maz is going Good to job. pick over their bodies <laughs> for any spare ammo and weapons and money, and toss it in the cart, and then yeet their body into the snow. Mm. Knocks Goodbye, them down horses. around it. Oh, should we cut them up for spare parts for the two of you? Or yeah, I can take a few pieces to go. Sounds yeah. good. Does it matter if we drink them or not? Not, not really. Right. I think there's still a lot of stuff left in the left over inside of oh, the yeah. organs. Okay. Once we're done with them, I can use ash to ashes. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, let's do that. That's way better. To, to get rid of the bodies, whatever's uh, left of them. That'd be a rouse check that? each time. Do that. Uh, mm, you can't do before, that before you feed because then well, I can won't remove feed. the parts I'm going to eat and then do it on the bodies that are left. And then oh, I'll yeah. Still have... And then eat if you're hungry. Yeah, it'll be like sandwiches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still need to make them rouse checks. First one, failure. Second one, success. Third one, success. Did you roll one on that failure? No, I didn't say that. Did you roll a 10 on the success of the other two? I don't think so. Okay. 
because with oblivion powers, if you roll one or a ten, you get a stain. Oh, keep yeah. my eyes out on that. Yep. So you proceed forth to uh, the next town over. Yeah. And did- the night that you reaching the town, it starts snowing again. <sighs> Let's pick a good spot. Let's pick Damn a good it. spot to camp out. Yeah. It's like we the, the pick of the town. It's like we could stay with someone in town. We were pretty close if you want to. Yeah, we should see if we can find uh, somebody willing to take us in for the night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. You don't happen to know anybody in this town, would you, uh, not Billiam? A, not off the top of my head, but there's a house over there. Not for me. There you go. Should we find one that has like a stables or something with horses that we could put our horse in there? That'd you know, um, you know, there's a barn near, too far from the homestead. Oh, good. Fabulous. Let's do that. Well, well, at least you see the little top of the barn, I should say. We could put the cart in the barn. Keep it out yeah. of sight. Keep it safe. So you're knocking at the house, door opens, you see a man. I'm like going a... to do blush of blush. life. Me oh. too. All right. Uh, and activate all as well, which doesn't require a roll. I guess I'll also blush of life. I am not hungrier. Me also. But I am very pretty. Ooh, I rolled a 10 on that, so I am not hungrier. I'm not rolling. <laughs> Guy opens door. He's got like um, short cut hair, but a kind of bushy beard, no mustache. Kind of like what you would consider the Amish look, but at this time, it's not unusual. Like a bushy beard? Yeah, like the, the Amish look, you know, the no mustache. Oh, just, just okay. Yeah. I used yeah. to be like that. Yeah. My dad was. <laughs> anyway, um, so the door opens. Guy's like, Can I help you, strangers? Hi, I, uh, we, we hate to ask this, but we got caught out in the blizzard. We were oh, making our way Lord. here. It's starting again. Mm. Yeah, we were hoping we could, if we could bother you for just a spot on the floor to rest for the night. Of course, of course. Name's uh, Charles Ingle, if you need to know. And you Moswin. all are? Moswin. That's a unusual name. Not from around here. <laughs> I could tell. I recognize that name. Yeah. Yeah. And the rest of you? Uh, they, they call me Lee. Hmm. You can call me Al. Al. Nice to meet you. And your friend with the sunny disposition? Not important. We call him Sunny. You sunny. guessed it in one. They do not. Don't call me that. <laughs> well, what should uh, we call and... you if you need to? Hey, you. That's fine with me. <laughs> you don't need to know All my right. name. All right. Hey, you. Uh, and also, uh, Billiam. Ah. Don't call, don't call me Billiam. No, pointing, we also have a friend from the next town over, Billiam. I motion at the wolf, this is Shadow. Ah, nice, to, uh, nice, uh, we got some dogs out back. <laughs> I whisper to Shadow, don't eat them unless I tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't mind. We have about six kids here, my wife, uh, and uh, a couple also staying with us. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people uh, came for the blizzard, so just make yourselves at home for the night. Does this count as an invitation in, Kevin? Yeah, he's like, don't want to. Okay, cool. (laughs) Oh, you've got that thing. I do. (laughs) Time to play around. And as you sit for the evening, we will just end it there. Yeah. Yep. So, um, help, uh, let's do, do, uh, hood. <laughs> so, as we end the game, I hope everyone enjoyed our little short one, um, one off uh, Wild West one. Maybe we'll return to see what happens. Maybe not. Who knows? But interesting historical fact this is not a supernatural winter. Nothing magical about this. This is the long winter of 1880 to 1881 from October. To, I believe almost March the next year, a consistent blizzard. Uh, in Boy, Gulf, that sucks. Uh, Dakotas. Yeah, it and does. Horrible. People still live there. 
Yep. Yeah. Why? Um, and if uh, just uh, a weird little shout out kind of thing at the very end for anyone who knows Americana, that was the name of the family from Little House on the Prairie because the yeah. daughter is the one who wrote the books, which is one of the best, even though not accurate, depictions of what it was like to uh, buckle down during that long winter. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Just Deja. interesting. So interesting I imagine thing. that we, we spend a couple of weeks with this family, getting them, getting to know them and not feeding on them. But maybe like a bunch of other families in town nearby go missing uh, every couple of days. Yeah, just to go through and yeah. Finally, uh, when things open up, move on. But yeah, I, I I regale the children with stories, and you know, become you know very protective of, of the children and all of that, making sure they're safe through the storm. I teach them how to shoot. <laughs> I offer a lot my better. I'm, I'm sure they already know how to shoot because it's the, it's a farmer kind of. Area. Oh yeah, that's a good point. How to shoot better? Yeah, but yeah. With that, we uh, leave you uh, some, uh, let's see, the ending announcements. Uh, Obviously, if you're watching this every other week or so, we have our Baltimore by Night series. This is the historical interlude, or it's just historical one shot that we do between major arcs or seasons, some people might call them. Um, So in in about two weeks, um, we'll start again with the next arc with everyone. Um, So... Hopefully they're there. Uh, we're going to have other things eventually. We're, like I said, working on things, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering, this batch, right, this right here, I got from the Deadlands uh, Kickstarter. I don't know if they sell it independently, but it's a little sheriff pin. If you actually look closer, it actually says Deadlands and Marshall on it, but um, just thought I'd share the bling. Um, and let's see, any pertinent announcements? Luke, still nothing going on? Nope. I mean, yes, nothing. Yeah. Um, Katrina? Uh, well, you know my stuff. Uh, if you like, I, I mean, you're here. Follow us. We post every single Monday at noon, usual, or every other Monday at noon. So keep an out here. I also write things. I have some stuff on DMs Guild. There's links in the doobly doo. So go check that out. Yeah. Um, Reese? Uh, I don't got much going on uh, on uh, Scotty Hood's channel every other Friday uh, on Twitch uh, and also YouTube. Uh, I, I mean, the, the Retroverse vaccine uh, should be picking that up. Depends on, I guess, when this comes out. But eh, it's be the, what, the 24th, September 24th? Me? Was, I'm not sure. Because it was supposed to be yesterday. Yeah. So if it happens, yeah. it'll be the end. But yeah, you know, yesterday, whatever. Yesterday whatever. was the tenth of uh, no, what month are we in? September, September tenth. For those who the fuck knows. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, if not, you can always just catch some of the vods or whatever on Scotty Hood's channel on YouTube. Uh, I'm also on a a game with well, not Scotty anymore, but some of the other people from I think that the vampire game that's normally on here like Aya and Callie Callie oh yes yeah, she runs the game uh, a fairy tale game that's happening on every other Tuesday every other Tuesday what's on what's Vex's channel now uh, fractured, uh, fractured moon Mo- fractured moon D&D on Twitch uh, every other Tuesday so you can go watch me there other than that that's really all I got but go check their stuff out got a hoods and uh and uh, Vex's stuff. All right. And last, uh, Jeanette. Uh, you can also find me on Scotty's channel and on his YouTube and various games, um, Chaos Crew and Coast of Saltmarsh to, you know, are the current ones. And if you'd like to see some of the games that I run, you can check out my Twitch channel, which is uncanny underscore adventures. And uh, also there are links there that will take you back to the YouTube channel with uh, past games and adventures and one shots that we've done. So that's what I've got going. All right. And with all that, um, if there's nothing else, I hope you all had a bloody good time and (laughs) see you next time. Bye. Bye.